Yo, 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 yo. Wisdom Talk Podcast. Episode 31. 31. I know, right? Exactly. Or the other way. I don't know how to. I think that's right. Oh, fuck it. Shit. It's your boy, H2O, aka the camera on going, aka Horton Hears Who, all that. Choice D, yes, all the above. Yeah. You know what it is, man. Go yep. ahead, Cuzzo. It's your boy, Juniani, here once again. Yo, I was, I was a little sick, like, on Wednesday. I had to take off work and everything. I was mm-hmm. like, yo, I couldn't, I couldn't do this, but. I'm here, though. You can kind of hear it in my voice a little bit, but, you know, we're going to still make it do what it do. I feel a lot better today. Ooh, so that's good. We're yeah. going to we, – we still going to rock out, you know. Um, episode 31, we here once again. I was about to say rock out again. with my cock out. I, I was thinking the same thing. Rock out with your cock out, dude. Like my – right? And there you go. Yeah. And we got no, we, our producer we, and photographer yeah, yeah, yeah. and all the vi- videographer yeah. and all that. Yeah. What's Boy, good? Go ahead, Beast. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. It's your boy, Beast 2 Saucy, man. Back at it again. Episode 31, man. It's been a long time since episode one, man. So, hey, let's keep this up. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, this episode, I I plan on, uh, we're going to be a little bit more from a intellectual, kind of like deeper, you know, we're going to really dig in this episode. Ain't going to be no dust shit. Ain't gonna be no ratchetness this episode. <laughs> We're gonna really break stuff down today because I feel like we haven't really done that in a little minute. Mm-hmm. Maybe in like a couple of episodes. It's been like two or three. <laughs> yeah. But nonetheless, you know, our foundation is wisdom talk, right? So yeah. we're here to give y'all wisdom from our perspectives. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So hey, you know, this is this is what we're doing. Yes, sir. Yeah. So yeah. hey, Beast, like you was telling me that you had like a story or something, like something yeah, happened to you. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Recently? Something happened to me today. And it's just, it, it's just like, it's nothing too major or nothing like that. So today, whenever I went to go put air in my tires today and everything, so I pulled up at this gas station. It had a, this gas station particularly had, you know, free air and everything like that. So whenever I got in line, there was somebody in front of me. I had to wait. I was on the phone with my, my homie and everything. I seen on the other side that that air pump, it doesn't really usually work like that. So I already seen there was two people, I guess this female and I guess her nigga or whatever like that. So Whenever I pulled up to put air in my tire, I told my homie, because I seen them leaving that air, um, that other air pump, I already knew it was messed up, so they had to come over here. Whenever I, like, I seen them come over here, I told my homie, I'm like, hey, man, give me one second, because I already know some people are about to be stupid. So, <laughs> literally, I seen them go around, get behind me and everything. I got, I'm just getting out the car. The woman gets out her car and try to take the air pump that I was just about to use. I was just like... <sighs> <laughs> I, I called it before it even happened exactly. and everything. I was just like, nah, bro, not what? today. So I walk up to her, nice. I was like, excuse me, I'm about to use the pump right now. She literally had the pump in her hand. She threw it to the ground and was like, hurry up. You already know they got other people in line and wow. everything. I was just like, I looked at my wrist. I didn't have no watch, but I was like, I got time today. Yeah, I got time today. I was just like, but no it just, in, that, in that crazy. moment, I was just like, bro, this is like, I should have never said energy. Yeah, I was like, bro, I should have never even said excuse me, bro. I should have said watch the hell out or something like that. Like knowing damn well, like you obviously see me about to use the air pump and everything, and then she her man was with her too. I I guess so. That was her man because he was in his car or whatever like that. Literally, when I turned around to see the line that she was talking about, literally I was the only car in line. So mm. I was like, bro, this woman is stupid as hell, bro. Like Mm. literally, she just took literally as I'm putting air in the um. In my one tire, because I just need to um, put air in one tire. So I was like, man, I'm about to literally put air in all my tires. Just because <laughs> just yeah. I'm doing it right yeah, here, bro. Yeah. Even though I don't have to, bro. Yeah. I'm about to do this shit right now. Literally, as I'm putting that air in the tire, I'm looking around and everything like that. I see her just leave and everything, go to somewhere else. I was like, man, go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> Eddie Wop. Yeah, man. I'm like, this is what oh, I got to deal with man. in the morning, bro. I'm like, it's still what the, what like 10 o'clock in the morning, bro. bro. I was like, bro, Crazy. come on. Mm-mm. It's too early for all that. I'm like, it's cold outside, but I'm like, bro. I'm, I'm in the cold. We just have a jacket. I got shorts on and everything. I'm like, man, come on, this woman here, bro. Like, you're really <laughs> grinding like, my you know gears right a line. now. Yeah, but there's no, one, there's no, there's nobody behind me, bro. Like, right. what are you, like, what are you in a hey, rush for? So uh, while she's making up a line, you said you made up a watch. You yeah, said, yeah, I got time today. I got time today. Like, yeah. come on, bro. 
Some people. That's bro, pretty man. fucking funny. Bro. Some people. Bro, I just yeah, no, nah, man. What the fuck? The level of entitlement. Yeah, bro. Right. What no, the for real. Fuck? She think that she can just literally cut the line. I'm like, I'm you know, honestly right here. Hey, you know, I'm not. I, I'm sorry to go there, but you know, where I'm about to go is because she's a woman. That she does, she can do that shit to you. Uh oh. Because, because like, I you think, nigga a, you right think a nigga would do that? But no, actually, it happened to me. This is not the first time. Oh shit! This is wait, not the first wait, time. Wait, Literally, wait, is this a this thing? Happened, yeah, yeah. This wait, is, this is also a thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. Was there yeah. An air pump as yeah well? it's the same air pump what and everything. It, what's up with this air pump? Is I, this I like a know. specialized yeah, air pump? What, what, like, yes, I guess so. Pump, because man. I guess it's everybody like a higher tier air pump. Like there's like this is the air pump to yeah, go to because it's free. I guess within the area or whatever. But literally, it happened to me before. Somebody, I'm literally again lined up. This time, there was actually two other people. You know, actually behind me and everything but this person drives in front of me and takes the the air pump thing i'm literally again get out the car and tell him like hey you know i'm up next there's other people online he's like my bad you should have said something i'm like what am <laughs> i supposed bad. to say you should have said something yeah like what am i supposed to say i'm literally in line just like everybody else and you're the one telling me i should have i should oh i should have said something like, well, i should have i should have my coin louder than words and yeah it shouldn't be obvious that i'm doing something why should I have to say something after I'm already doing it? Yeah. Right. Some people, oh, bro. Some man. people, mm. bro. That's why I love my mom. And one specific quote that sticks to me since she told me as a child, common sense is not common. Mm. That's like, a fact. Bro. That's a fact. Mm. And it only gets worse as we get older. Yeah. Like, fuck. That's a fact. Yeah, bro. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, you would think when someone gets older and they wise, wisen up. Mm -hmm. that Wisdom you talk. Would, you, they Facts. would use utilize common sense more, but... Nah, nah. <laughs> age, yeah, nah, age don't really, nah, age don't, don't really, don't, age don't really matter. Some people really plateau in maturity, like like they get to a certain level of maturity and then they just right stay on that plane. They, they, they don't, yeah, they they plateau. People right. get maturing. They don't continue to mature more and more as they get older. Yeah. It's like they get to a certain level of maturity and then they're like that. No matter how old they are, they're still that same level. Oh, of I know, I know. A lot of people like yeah. that. Yeah, sure. sometimes yeah. they even get dumbed down. There's, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a, even worse. Right. Oh bro. yeah, that's when Man. they go when they start to retract and yeah. go backwards. Yeah. yeah. Oh my bro. god. You see some Yo. old people acting like children. Yeah. It's bro. like fuck, bro. I'm like, bro, you in your that's 60s, 70s, and that's such. That's why now I'm more mature than you. Right. I'm, a, I'm over I mean, here being the the adult in this situation. I want to say it's too bad because like deep down, I feel like everybody should still be a child, you know, a little bit inside At moments, and sure. When you're having yeah. fun, enjoy yeah, right. life. When you're having yeah. fun, enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but if you're just going to be a child literally every given time and all that 24-7 like that, nah, nah, that got to go. Yeah, yeah. That go. I, I, that, that's why knowledge should be infinite. Mm -hmm. If now, if you have that concept instilled in your brain, mm -hmm. like knowledge, you should never stop learning. You should never stop absorbing information that means that you're always going to be on an uphill trend. Yeah. <laughs> you're always going to be uphill, right? You're yes, always going to be going up, 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 up. You're not going to go down. You're not going to plateau. Because if you're always trying to learn something new, then that's new, something you could utilize potentially, yep. right? Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. So That's a valid point, man. Because yeah. like a lot of big people get complacent and settle and comfortable. And then it's like, why expand? Right. Because like, I'm good where I am. So it's like that plateau. Right. Like, damn, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hey, cause uh, you had a couple topics. I know. Yeah. yeah. Um. What you got? What you got today? Yeah. They're kind of they're kind of like all over the place. But hey, I feel like this could be an episode where we just shoot the shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh shit! Intellectually, yeah. like more intellectual, just whatever. It you want me to start? Huh? I will start with my Eve effect. No. Okay. I know. But here, here we go. <laughs> all right, all right, First bullet point. I want to say. I <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. I, I was cool. like, all right. Cool. I got that some. Topic is enticing. Uh, Eve effect. Yeah. yeah Eve exactly. effect. Yeah. It's my own he philosophy. Kinda, I made up. Like, he kind of yeah. broke it I down to me yeah, a little yeah, bit, I'll, but I'll, you know, I you know, you just got to hear him talk about it. Right. Yep. Right. So okay. Question to everybody in the room. All right. Mm -hmm. Even Quincy could chime in. He ah. even he don't have a mic, yeah, but yeah, yeah. he in the back. You know, say is our Jamie to Joe Rogan. You know, like he's our engineer in the back. Y'all don't get to y'all don't see him like that and everything, but he is the real yeah, shout out to, magician shout behind, out to the Quincy, scenes, behind the scenes, doing that due diligence and the work okay, and everything. Yeah, here's the question: ahead. Do you think we're in a soft era when it comes to male female relations? Yeah, bro. Times are that's way a different, it's a bro. that's Tons a general question, but it's a general question. But it's a simple general question. But it could be deep though, <laughs> depending on how you de depending on bro. how you take it's it and how you go with it. Bro. I don't know. Do, I mean, repeat, it, repeat the question okay. again, man. Do you think 
we're in a soft era when it comes to male female relations. Let me double down. When you're referring to that, are you saying that men are becoming more feminine and women are becoming more masculine? I, I, that's how I was seeing it too. I don't that's know. how I was seeing it too, though. Because that's exactly when yeah. you hear the question, that's the first it thing. Because yeah, once you say soft, I'm like, it could go I a mean, lot of different ways. Let me answer first. It can go let a lot me, of let me go ways. first because like I, I this is gonna be my answer to that because. A lot of times women say men should be able to communicate better and mm -hmm. be willing to open up more emotionally, or emotional, vulnerable, learn emotional intelligence and all that. And men are listening to women because at the end of the day, we need to know what women want to get women. Yeah. So when we hear women saying that this is what they want, then we're most men are going to adapt to that. And then backdoor, they say that men are sassy, men are more feminine now than ever and everything else. So it's just like counterproductive towards what really should be. Okay. 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 Do y'all feel like roles are necessary yeah. and important? Yeah. Yeah. Or not? I, I, I'm you... saying like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even respond to that. My follow-up is okay. that. Well, nothing's absolute, nothing's zero, nothing's 50-50. Oh, okay. You know how I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we might even be able to clip this point. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> well. and the whole point is that, generally speaking, yes. Okay. There might be some nuances and certain gray points here and there, but generally speaking, what will work for the masses yeah. is that. Okay, like, okay I, you, I can, I can agree and disagree because some people do do like go off the roads and everything like yeah. that. But I feel like at some point, like I feel y'all going to talk to each other and come to an understanding like, okay, I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to be, you know, going out, you mean say hunting and everything, bring the food mm -hmm. and all that. That's the, you know, the role that we are used to doing and everything. Yeah, but exactly. nowadays, cause like you're saying like, are people being like, are men or women being soft and all like that? Mm -hmm. Some, some people are now switching it up. Some female are, females nowadays are trying to go, you know, hunting or bring food and all that. And mm -hmm. some guys are literally staying home and, you know, just, you Man, know, being the providers and all that. Is, so, it just that's what I'm saying. Like, I it's talked a, about that. Is it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it, is it beta for a man to be a stay-at-home dad? Dude, I was I, just talking I about this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was just talking about this to my cousin. See, this house we living my, now, my little cousin, my little cousin, I don't know. My little cousin that moved in know. with us, that's crazy that this is, is crazy how it's coming in full circle because <laughs> I'm dropping off my little cousin to Benny Honda where she has a job, the one that moved here from Buffalo. She's mm -hmm. 21 years old. And she was like saying, like, a man's not lesser if he has a stay-at-home job. And because she made an example for another one of our cousins, mm -hmm. uh, Uncle DeButto, so I don't, yeah, uh, okay. Jake. So like, he's a he works from home and all he does is either do shit online or d takes calls, and he lives in California now and everything. And but his little his little brother is a male waiter. He's a waiter and stuff. And right. I say I respect the little brother's occupation of like having to go, get up and go get it more right. than right. his position as someone who is like. Staying at home all day and taking calls and you know, doing all that because I'm thinking about it like futuristically, like when you become a father and a man and a leader of the household and all that stuff. Right. Imagine that you're a stay at home father and husband, and then like the wife might even be yeah. going home, going out and working while you're staying at home with the kids, and you're over here supposed to be the man okay. in the house, okay. and you're like over here working, and you hear the kids doing like, "Shut up, daddy's working." Like, and then, I mean, like, when you think about okay, the TV shows, I'm, I'm going on on the rant, but, like, you think about the TV shows, like, you're used to, like, the, the dad getting home after a hard day at work. Honey, I'm home. And then, like, you know, he gets a kiss from the wife, and then the dad, dad! That's, yeah, that's and old that's school. And that's what, that's, that's yeah, school, that's right? what you think, because yeah. consciously, yeah. you don't get that from that stay-at-home dad. I mean, that stay at so, home okay, man. okay, okay, okay. So what do so you get? A, so what do you get? So what do you get from a stay at home? Well, I'm saying the the what I said before that is okay. that hey, be quiet, daddy's working, and he's just on the computer the whole time while the kids are just doing whatever. Okay, how much is he making though doing that? No, that varies. That varies. Hey, because, because like, I you mean, if still, I'm making a hundred k a year sitting at home shouts doing to, like that, I'll yell at like my, my kids too. Shouts to my boy right. Justin Pressel, mm -hmm. who is married, and I was one of his groomsmen. Uh, he's married to a, uh, and they don't have any kids yet, but he's married and he's a stay at home. He only goes to the facility like once every month to have to actually go to the facility. Otherwise, he works from home and he is the breadwinner. 
too, as well. See, and he's see, a, I don't see that's what I'm saying. So, 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 I don't see nothing wrong right. with that. Right. So, to me, so, so to me personally, to me, I feel like I'm gonna send them the link to this episode yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I feel this. like I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's situational. You know what I mean? Like I'm kind of in the middle with it. Like there's nothing necessarily wrong with the stay at home dad. Unless you got to be, it has to be a particular situation, like working from home, you're making lots of money, you yeah. know what I'm saying, working from home, yeah. or maybe you have like a disability or something, and you know, you got into an accident and you're at His home. His wife has a disability, like lupus. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So like every couple so, months she has to go to the hospital. And right. Yeah. So like if you have a disability, you broke your leg, or like you, you something, you have a disease or something, and you have to be homebound. Mm -hmm. then that's okay you're a stay-at-home dad for right now in your life until you get better right mm -hmm. you know uh job. you say until he gets better like it's not like for a long for the long run yeah so like let's say i had for like the time being yeah let's say i had a, a disease that would put me out of that would put me out of commission for like a year or two you know what i'm saying yeah. and i have to be homebound i have to be at the house like for most of the day then okay then yeah i'm a stay-at-home dad I'm in a I have a woman who goes, she she took the mantle yeah. real quick and mm -hmm. she, you know, it's what we gotta do to make this thing survive and live and thrive. You know, this what I'm this this topic like, hits me in multiple ways, mm -hmm. in multiple perspectives, because that's what happened to my dad when he got right. he had his stroke and my yeah. mom had to step up. Right, exactly. And woman. that's what a good woman should do. Yeah, step exactly. up in those yeah, moments. That's why, right. my, that's why my you know mom's like the number one like representation of ideal woman. Yeah. So like, like, a woman most, should but step most up. women cannot be on the same playing field like like then that's why I like i see these women i'm like ah oh. like yeah, yeah i know a real woman because i was raised by one like yeah, i'm like yeah, yeah. we're all we're all always against them like step up and be that yeah but yeah, yeah. So, yeah like, so like and and then and then on top of that like uh so those two things right you got mm -hmm. those two things for sure um outside of that i mean if you if i feel like if the arrangement is understood then a stay-at-home dad could be acceptable, but you know, the, the whoever it's, it's such I, a, I'll put it to you. I'll put it to you like objective analysis. I'll put it to you like this: whoever's the stay-at-home, the stay-at-home person, mm -hmm. they shouldn't let they shouldn't a take advantage of that. B let that mold them into somebody who's this undesirable, mm. right? Those two things. I feel like it shouldn't let them do either of the two, right? You. If you're staying at home, obviously you shouldn't just not do nothing. You need to exactly. be cleaning, taking oh, care yeah, of children. No. You nice. need to be productive around the house or at the house or figure out a way how to To maintain use, the home. Yeah, figure okay. out a way how to use that moment that you are stationary to be productive in other ways that may not include the home. But just be productive. Like, figure out a way how to get some productivity out of this. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. because that's the thing. I think that's the thing with most stay-at-home people in general, male or female. Yeah. Like, they're just not bringing any sort of tangible but then, productivity. Like, here's the thing. I would prefer the stay-at-home person to be the woman because, like, that woman is also going to be the nurturer and the mother for the child and everything else. And it'll be better off that she's at home still yeah. making money and being there for I mean, well yeah because, with the dude doing that though because well, it's emasculating well the thing is is that that's the my women women that's me. That's, yeah. i'm not saying that that's what men women, should think but that's women why I do. women I see that though women yeah, by though. nature are more they're more of the caregivers yeah they're exactly. more right. of the nurturers, nurturers. Right. Yeah, that's exactly. just by yeah, yeah that's we all know that. that's human yeah. nature right yeah, exactly. i mean so it makes more sense for them to be at the home but i'm not against a dude being at home either situationally yeah to but a that, certain extent but he's yeah. still you know what I'm saying but like, like you, <laughs> you still would expect that man even if he's doing it from the home to be that masculine figure yeah in the home yeah like to be the disciplinary yeah the leader, yeah you still you still gotta dominate and be a man like masculine yeah you still gotta be feature, a man you know exactly yeah you still gotta but be like, a man and she still gotta be a woman yeah like, but a lot of times that. yeah i was just gonna say that a lot of times though Whenever they're in that position as a man, yeah, that some of those things seem to seem to fleet, right, and like, and that's what makes it a fine line of of holding frame, right. It makes it a fine line of uh, keeping things understood. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. it, ha it has a fine, it's a fine line, and that's where a lot of things get blurred and convoluted, and you know, and that's why you have all these weird relationships and yeah. children grow up being confused confused or <laughs> thrown off you know yeah. what i'm saying more so mentally and spiritually yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. But, exactly you know um yeah. 
But yeah. Because like I think about two th- other scenarios as well is that my sister, Beverly, who now lives in Baltimore, like before she lived in Baltimore, why she was able to make that move was is that she has a physical therapy at home job. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like regardless of where her home is, she could still do her job. Right. right. And then there's a another one where is our cousin Dexter. You know Dexter. Yeah, I know Dexter. Yeah, yeah. his little brother, Alvin. Yeah. He works from home. Yeah. As a man. Right. And he was like, what's wrong with a woman being the one that's stepping out, earning her money while I'm working at home? And, right. I, and we went, we got this to a point. point. I'm like, how is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah we got yeah, to yeah, a point where yeah. like, yeah. like we we got to a point where we was beefing online and shit. And like we yeah. ended up blocking each other and then we finally made peace with Uncle Manny Pass. <laughs> we made peace with Uncle Manny Pass. About this shit because like <laughs> I was like telling like, you know because like he's he was calling me a fanboy for dancing and I was saying you you ain't no real man you a bitch ass nigga like and, and this nigga's bigger than <laughs> me Yo, I didn't know than my brother yeah he's the amateur MMA train like he's the amateur MMA grappling shit and all that shit so like that nigga would probably fuck me up right but I'm telling him he's a bitch because the fact that he's uh, supporting the idea of a woman being oh, the yeah. one that comes home while you yeah. working at home all day, I was like, "Dog, you sound like a bitch, bro." I didn't Straight know. Up. I didn't even know. Yeah. Cu- I didn't yeah, even yeah, know they were, my cousins were beefing yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. To you a know point funny? where, like, our moms had to talk to each other wow, about this shit, like bro. because like it got out there. Because it's Facebook. Yeah. So like, it got out there where the bro, the family could see it. You know, El- Alvin, Elvin, is it Elvin, Alvin? Yeah, Elvin. Elvin. Yeah. You know, he's funny because I've gotten into like small little minor disputes with him he's online. He's like a male feminist. He, I wouldn't, I, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm anti-feminist. I don't like feminists. I, I don't like the feminist And my mom's a, my either. mom's a first wife feminist. My mom is like, she, yeah, is, the, she is a feminist. Margaret Sanger is a big, yeah. big racist white supremacist. Yeah, exactly. The who started the I, feminist I, 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 movement. I've had these conversations yeah. with my mom. So she's, I've had these conversations yeah. with my mom. So I don't support the feminist movement at all. Yeah, either, exactly. To be so, honest with you. Exactly. I think, it, a, I think it, I think it harms you. black women more than it does them good to thank be honest you. with you thank you i appreciate you saying this yeah no i'm saying so I'm, thank I, you. yeah thank for you real. but uh elvin he he's like a little thorn like that'll poke my side every now and then yeah. online like he'll chime in and make yeah. a comment on some of my posts yeah. but it's like a weird like exactly it's like a weird unnecessarily combative comment that yeah. is like bro are you trolling? Like, bad faith. It's bad faith arguments. He makes yeah, bad faith go. arguments. Bad faith arguments. Yeah, yeah it's right. like, bro, you got to be trolling. It's like a, a contrarian. Like, yeah. Like, he's literally just arguing just to argue. Not even just to, like, have a legitimate point. Right. Just because he doesn't like your point. Right. And it's I was like, like bro, that's petty yeah, as fuck, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. And I call him out on that shit, and then we start going back and forth. And he's like, <laughs> hey, come to the gym sometime. We can run that fade. And I'm like, man, fuck you, nigga. Next time I see you at a function, we can run that fade. And I don't fight fair. I might have niggas with me. I'll jump your ass. I'll give a fuck. Says, see like, yeah. This one says, see wow. you. This one says, see you at a function. That, I know. Yo, I know. That's they, cousins. Yo, I know. You, you know, know what functions are right? yeah. like? Like African yeah. functions? Exactly. Yeah. He's, he's Nigerian. Bro. He knows. Bro. <laughs> wow. There's an African panel right that here. That shit would have been hilarious. I know. You pull up to a function and you see two you niggas. You just see him. You have to make fight. eye contact. Like, <laughs> yep. It's go time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You just see two niggas boxing yep. in the parking lot. That's funny, I imagine, you know how after Uncle Mandy's, that wait where we had that that town hall shit when we we're by yeah. my house and yeah, we went yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah. That's when we made peace. Oh, and really? I, but imagine if it went, went the other way and we would just start fighting there. Oh, that would be that crazy. Was, that was what we were it talking about doing. Yeah, that would be. We were talking about doing that shit on site. <laughs> and I was like, I don't, you don't even know if I got niggas with me because I wasn't even talking about fighting fair. I'm like, yeah, he, he was talking about come to my gym. I'm like, fuck that gym shit, nigga. I don't even fight fair, nigga. Yeah. Like, you bigger than me on that shit? You train? Um, I don't give a fuck. Dog. I might right. have niggas with me. I was like, we going to mop your ass. Yeah, dog. They, they, and, that's why, and that's my cousin that I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about like this. That's no, my that's cousin. Like, saying, like, 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 you don't understand where people's minds are, bro. <laughs> like, is it, that's how crazy it got. Yo, only because, hilarious, only, only because really of what... Like, today, bro. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah, it just brought the passion out of me. Like, yeah. yo. I'm just That's saying. That's f- Funny, saying, like, no one even most people didn't even know about it to that degree that how hot it was to that degree. Yeah, There's yeah. people who saw the glimpse that we didn't disagree that we disagreed on shit, but they didn't know how hot it was. Yeah, because, like, I didn't we're, know. We're DMing no each other. The, the shit about is on site and fighting and shit. 
That was only in the DMs. But what yeah. we were posting publicly was it? It was just disagreeing I had no and talking idea. shit. Yeah. But it was like it, it went from t- uh, disagreeing and talking shit to like on site. Wow. Yeah. So I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> ding, wow. ding, ding. So yeah, but it comes back to because he works from home, and then he was like, "I would love to have a woman that could respect me working from home and still be going out to work, and I'll be still home when she gets home and all that stuff." And I was like, "Nigga, he sound I mean, like a bitch." At least, does he have any <laughs> hobbies or something? He was. Uh, he has. He does. He's MMA. He That's trains. Right. He's. He goes to the gym. He's. Still actively training in MMA. He's a okay. grappler and everything else. And he's starting to learn how to strike, but he's like a BJJ wrestler type of dude. Okay. Primarily. But he's learning how to but strike. He's now. done competitions. You know, I'm amateurly, but yeah. like still training. You mm-hmm. know, my job. He's a big dude. He's bigger than Cyril and all that. And every and good and Joe. He's like 280. Yeah. 270, 280. So he, that's he, why I'm not gonna fight him. He fair. played, he played. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna I'll get my niggas and make sure they're there. So like if I'm losing, like, we're gonna fuck that nigga up. He played. Type of shit. He played defensive tackle for Katie. Yeah, bro. exactly. Really? <laughs> yeah, he's that a big, big dude. Ass nigga, yeah, he's a he big played, ass nigga. Bro. He start. He was like varsity yeah. starting we ain't everything. Fair, nigga. Yeah, he's, yeah. No, I ain't fighting fair. He's a street fighter. I was like, fuck that gym shit. We gonna run that fight in the streets, and he, he and my niggas gonna have uh, my back. He does Brazilian jiu jitsu. Yeah, like, yeah, see, like wrestling, uh, grappling, just yeah, like nah, yeah. like Baki. I, I, I know how that goes. Type shit. Yeah, I know how that shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I ain't gonna do that shit. That's exhausting. No, bro. Street fight, then it's all even. Yeah. I've been enough street fights. I know how I handle that shit. Mm-hmm. So like, oh, even man. then, I'm gonna, I might grab some shit and fucking bash you in it. That's what I'm saying. I, I feel like you'll fuck, bring a bro. gun to a gunfight. Yeah, bro, I was got Rob was one of the people. <laughs> Rob started chiming in. Um, our boy that we're about to watch the Texas Raven game. Rob was gonna, he was chiming in. I was like, Rob, you gonna be there? You know, Rob, he yeah. makes he makes guns for a living. He yeah. was gonna be strapped up. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Rob's gonna be there, and all my other niggas gonna be. I'm like, I have at least two or three niggas there. Wow. I, along with myself, and we can run that fan as soon as like as soon as it starts getting unbalanced, they're gonna step in. And yeah, it's a tree fight. Anything no goes. Idea, I don't give a bro. fuck. So like, yeah, ain't shit ain't gonna be sweet out here. He was messaging his gym buddies in the group chat. He was showing me the <laughs> screenshots. Like, yeah, my cousin's trying to challenge me. Yeah, yeah, he's a dumbass. I'm like, no, I'm not a dumbass. That's why I'm not gonna challenge you in the gym. Right. Come on site. Right, right. Next function. Let's run that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna be as pleasant as you think that you shit. have it while you're sparring and all the other bullshit. You got me fucked up. Yeah. I'm like telling him, like, I, I got my taekwondo training and shit basic shit but like if you are ready for that then i got niggas that strapped up and ready to jump your ass that's yeah. funny so yeah. it's like i was I, I, like i'll go there if i go there even though he's family but it's just like it was just shit talking and hey, went to man, the next like, level you know shout, shout out to elvin yeah shout out to elvin shout, shout out to, to dexter shout, shout out to the family to, yeah, shout out to all of the tap yeah. Pong, yeah. Tap Pong family. yeah shout out to the tap Pong family yeah, yeah. because like our moms got involved and then like they try to talk talk to us like hey man my mom's like Oh, why are you talking to him like that? Like you, that's family and everything else, and like, like you, you're supposed to be better than that. I'm like, no, he disrespect me. So I'm like, I'm gonna go next level. All right. But like, and then wait, like, wait, wait, it, wait, wait, his wait. mom pieced him out better than my mom pieced me out. I'd say that. Look, look, look. Who who started it though? That's what I, want I made a post. He he made a uh, comment towards my post. Kind of okay. like what so he be he, doing with Junior. He kinda did, yeah, yeah, he he made yeah. a response, yeah. and then like I wasn't gonna keep going back and forth in the comments, so I. So then he DM me like, "Are you okay?" Like, like he tried to do the thing like, "There's something wrong with me." Yeah. Because yeah. of what I'm posting, and I'm like, "No, I'm good." Die, but are you okay? Because you sound like a bitch. Yeah. And maybe that I call I say that you sound like a bitch. That there was uh, that's where it escalated. Yeah. There was a post that <laughs> that would have got me too. I mean, like, he's testing me, my pride right now. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> but then, like, when he started calling me a fanboy on my post, because he like, you be dancing like a fanboy. Like, he's trying to say, like, I, I'm like, only bitches dance. I'm like, nigga, you the bitch that's trying to work from home and talking defending women. I was, you know, just shit like that. I'm like, you gonna tell, call me a fanboy? I think you're projecting your own fucking self. Mm. But, like, and then, like, you know, and it just kind of went south. <laughs> well, two things. One, that was a crazy tangent that we just went into. One personal tangent. I work from home for yeah, my I, job. I had but, another you know thing saying? too. But that. yeah, there's a lot of shit. It's yeah, 2024. I work from home, it's man. 2024. Look, I work from home, but you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't have the mentality that he has though. Yeah. No disrespect. I'm just saying my mentality, you you know, you probably don't think like me, like straight up. And then number two, 
Um, I'm gonna send them this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I remember uh, you. You know Ernie, right? Yeah, of course. So Ernie made a post Papa. about synthetic meat. I think it was him that made that post. Somebody made a post about how they they're making the food and the meats mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. chicken, beef, synthetic. Yeah, process. They're, yep. they're literally yeah, creating that process it. Uh, genetically engineered shit. Not even genetically engineered, bro. Like it's, uh, it's processed. It's not even pro- like it's literally like synthetic synthetic yeah. beef, like, like, like McDonald's meat. Uh, Cause you know, chicken nuggets. Because you know all that stuff, the McDonald's and the fast food, it yeah. has a, a realistic organic base to it. Mm. I'm talking about synthetic where they print it out, basically. Yeah. Like synthetic. Like the machine's I heard about making that. meat. I heard and we're that. eating yeah. it. We're yeah. consuming uh, yes, machine based so meat. So they yep. there's real life uh I don't know if these are factories or there's real life places where they're yep. they're making synthetic meat and like people are eating it. Like the, it's basically like eating plastic, basically. Like, like but you can't tell because bit. it tastes it like tastes they do original. something to it to where it tastes real. Yep. Ugh. So Elvin made a con. I think it was Ernie that made that po- post. That's why I'm bringing him up. But I think Elvin commented on that in support, and he was like, "Well, what's wrong with eating synthetic beef?" And I, then I chimed in and I was like, "Are you serious? See, that's the type of stuff I'd be like, you got to be trolling, See, bro. That's what I'd be that, thinking. I'd he's be a like, soy boy. I think he's I think trolling, he's a bro. soy boy. What type of shit is I that? Swear, he's a male I, feminist. Yeah, I put that on everything. Like he's bro. a beta. He's a beta, bro. I'm he sorry. He could be. He like, could be. I'm just like he could I, be. I, 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 like that's he's still disgusting. family. We're still family. We're all that's still disgusting. family. But he said, and I had to. I get. And my response to him was. I literally responded to him in such an intellectual way that he didn't really have. Yeah, like with a, that Tariq shit. Yeah, yeah, and he didn't have a, He didn't really have a good response after that because mm-hmm. I basically was breaking down why synthetic meat is bad and like why you shouldn't eat it. Well, why meat in general should. You know, be he's like a year from, younger than me. Yeah, I know. Well, so I'm saying, yeah, like, we're all in the same age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so like, and then what? I broke it down to him, yeah. and then he he had like a response where he was <sighs> trying to save his face, right. Like, and like, oh well, still like, I was like, nigga, nigga you, still you what? tapped out, nigga. Like, still okay. what? Yeah, yeah, you tapped out, bro. This you, is like, you can't I don't even know. That. This is not even like vegetarian. Synthetic meat. Yeah, he was basically yeah. asking oh. the question like, so are you trying to say that there's nothing? Or <laughs> he's like, he said, no, no, no. He said, so what's wrong with eating synthetic beef? I don't see what the problem is. Basically, is what he said. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically what he was at, like. Oh, it's, see, it's not. It's I don't even. It's, I don't even compare it to like vegetarian and stuff. It's this not. Is it's not. This, this is worse. This is out of the. This is yeah. way. Because, like, you have your impossible yeah. burgers and all this yeah. shit that you could buy at Costco or right. you could order but at see, certain They have a realistic organic. Exactly. Base. It's still plant based. It's yeah. still plant. There's a real Man. base to it. <sighs> this is. There's no real base. You talking about machine coming out with meat? Yeah. Right. Basically, Meat is you, you, an you, animal. Look, you'll never see that in Nigeria. I no, probably, probably or Cameroon. <laughs> no. Or any type of no, African they got country. Every, everything over there is too fresh, bro. Way Dude, that's why you... Fresh, that's bro. why when I was Absolutely. getting Cameroon... The last time I been in Cameroon, I was fucking 13 years old. And I still remember how much... how. The chicken taste everything. in Cameroon. Everything, the meat, bro. all everything, meat bro. in Cameroon bro. tasted. Yeah. Versus the meat in America tasted. All now, processed, like the, all, bro. Like, all the, processed. like the purity of it. Yes, like bro. The, Oh, it we went so to this much when I was in Cameroon and everything else. Yeah. When I was in Cameroon in December, this Pure. December that just passed, we went to this restaurant where they were served because Cameroon's known for like their fish, right? Their mm-hmm. fish and their plantain, like that's what they. Of course, that's what I love you know. Our moms plantain. are always yeah. fish and plantains, yeah, yeah. bro. That's that's what we they always, specialize man, in. It's come like on fish now. in Cameroon, right? Yeah, we always eat that because it's a coastal country. So like, yep. yep. West we coast. went to this restaurant where they they sold uh, soya. Right, yeah, oh. so yeah, but they didn't sell it on the stick, they put it in bags, right? Oh, like paper bags, man. like little paper bags about yeah. this big with onions. Man, I just had some, oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. there's some, there's yeah. some that's oh, like, yeah. like whenever yeah. you go to certain functions, there's like in a pan, like the catering pan, yeah, it wasn't in a pan, but like, this came in but like, like, but like, like the same thing with the onions yeah. and all yeah, that yeah, shit, the fried onions, onions yeah. and the I'm peppers, bell peppers. I know, that's what I'm saying, talking about this, we're gonna probably eat after this, yeah, yeah. At but, this uh, point, but, yeah. but yeah, they sell the, the soya in a bag. Damn. But it, it wasn't at the restaurant. They actually brought the soya from like a their version of a Damn, of a, of a bodega good. or like mm-hmm. taco truck right. version. So they got it from there, brought it to the restaurant. But the restaurant served. They specialize in fish and plantain and all that and and uh, rice. And I was like, yo, this stuff here. Damn, this tastes good. Oh yeah, man. Like I'm the, you cannot time, bro, replicate. That. That's what I'm saying. Like oh, you man. you eat food over there. It's different, bro. It's it hits different. Way different. It's different, like for real. 
Like it's no game, bro. Like, no, I, I mean bet. you know, but yeah, exactly. And you'll have a different when you go there now. If you're yeah, to go there as an adult, man, bro, that's why I need to go. As an you'll adult, have a, a true appreciation of adult. like, yo, <laughs> because like I didn't even know how I, I I got to appreciate it as a teenager. Yeah, like imagine as me now, like I would Dog. even like. I, and then I could do it on my terms instead of like having a budget off of my right. parents, and my mom. And it's shit. it's it was crucial, only, bro. It was me, Sir, and my mom yeah. out there. Because the first time it was my mom, Beverly, and, and Jean, my sisters, and me and Sir stayed with my dad. Yeah. Like when we were younger. Yeah. And then the next time that she went, it was me, it was the boys. And then like. She went. She's gone multiple times by herself since we've been adults. But yeah. I, I should like next time she's going to camera, I'm going with her. Yeah, one hundred percent. Because I got to get that experience. And then the arrow, the arrow with the palm oil over there. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. I know. I, was, I still remember goat. Woo. The goat oh. meat. Oh, well, I didn't eat goat when I went there this time, but I had fish, plenty of fish, chicken. soya, soya. Uh, I had chicken. Drumsticks. I had oh. Yeah, bro. It was off the chain. Off bro, the I still remember the taste, the savoring taste of each bite of that fucking off chicken, chain. bro. Seeing, like, because, like, they want, so, like, me and Cyril were supposed to kill the animals. Cyril started sawing the uh, the goat's head, and as soon as the blood draws, Cyril backed off. <laughs> I pussied out of cutting the chicken yeah. head. Like, I, didn't even, I, I just grabbed the chicken, I fucking let it go, and it ran off. Yeah. I didn't even go through even the yeah. beginning process of it. <laughs> And it's like it's because like you know how it is like becoming right. a man you gotta know how to hunt and right. provide so right. it's like part of the manhood process and I was like I pushed out like a bitch I don't yeah. give a fuck I I can't kill no animal see I'd bro. rather do that to a fish like if I you if you put animal, me in the river I I think I'm more I caught a fish but I can't kill the fish I could kill it I, I can't I, like see, if like, you, like if, to gut it and like see if we're out if we're out the wilderness yeah if we're out the wilderness and they were like all right you got to be a hunter but what type of hunter do you want to be I'd be like send me to the water I'll go fish. Let me I'll go get fish. the fish. I can fish. I'll bring I can get bed. the fish, but yeah, yeah, I'll me get someone get else to do give it. Give me a brick or a block, and I'll smash it and, like, <sighs> and kill it. See, yeah, Cyril, learned, Cyril learned how to eventually, act, like, over time, like, he, he could kill shit. Like, yeah. even, like, when we lived together like, and we had rats, so would actually stomp. Mm. See, I I, I set up traps. I, like, I, exactly. I set up traps. I'm yeah, a trap I'll person, and, yeah, like, I'll and then like I'll I'll hear the trap, yeah. and I'll hear the screaming, and that even just the, the the trap activating and killing the rat, and like hearing the screaming, I like that shit was still like making me yeah like and shit. I'm, I'm just thinking cheering. about it. I'll be like, yeah, another one down. <laughs> and then like and then like it, just the process of like taking it outside, like to throw it away and to dispose it, like yeah. I, I was so much of a a process for me to go through. Mm. Yeah, like, it's this a, boy still get to a point where like he'll stomp that yeah, shit Yeah, when you out. trap it, uh, uh, when you trap it, out, like fuck. When you set that, the trap man. overnight and then you hear the snap, yeah, and then you got to pick it up in the morning yeah. and like put it in the bed. Yeah, it that's was, the worst part. Yeah, that was, it, like, uh. that was such a process. That was such a process for me. Yeah, it took me. That shit in there. I think I did it one time. Other times, I like, uh. and that, that's why even my mom would troll me for that shit because like we had rats at our house at the time. Yeah, and like I would, I the trap, I was like mom. I'll wake my mom up and be like, Mom, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hey, Pookie, your man. No, yeah, I Pookie, your man. What's wrong uh, with you? Yeah, hey, man, we uh -oh. just had Legend walk in, uh -oh. baby. Uh -oh. Hey, you got that spot on the couch, baby. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, I just could not see up. Like, that's my one weakness as far as being a manly man is like, Anything that has to do with like an actual You got animal. any headphones over there? An animal. Uh it's one right here. Look, look. The, you see it? You see where it's at? Yeah, on yeah. the rack. Hey, our editor, our CEO at LMT, all of that, my boy RKM <laughs> Legend, the man, the myth, the legend himself. The man, all of that the myth, the legend. Is here. Yes, yeah, so we'll he's, probably he's need over that here. help. Yeah, Quincy, I don't know if you uh shouts to our engineer and everything. Yeah, you yeah. step in. Help fine. out, yeah, help out, yeah. you know, it is. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, so man. Little, you know, cut off. Like, like people don't yeah. understand. The whole point of this conversation is that most people are that are American only know America. They don't know, like, life outside of this country. And, and that's unfortunate because travel is important, man, to just... For your brain, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. For the for the dendrums in your brain to connect to each hemisphere in your brain and mm. like really just have a true understanding. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and not just going to like a, a UK or like to another no, first just, world country. Right. 
Right. Uh, but like going to a third world country where you don't have right. the same luxury as we have here. Well, the first, I mean, for anybody who hasn't traveled outside of the U.S., I say just go over the ocean first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. get but over there. Baby steps, baby steps. Yeah, go over like, there. It, yeah, because yeah. like even uh, even before I went to Cameroon, I'm bit, I went to uh, to Great Britain, you know, okay. the UK, okay. United Kingdom. Right. I went there first. You know, we have our family out there and everything. You was you was literally born out there, right? And everything right. else. So like, I got that experience of just being overseas, mm -hmm. and then I got the experience of a third world country right. of Cameroon. It's so right, cool. right. Yeah, hmm. yeah. So, travel's yeah. crucial, man. Just it for is. just because the more perspectives you get, the more it kind of subconsciously humbles you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, because yeah. third world definitely humbled me. Boy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That like, third world country over there. Yeah, man, that no signal. Stupid. Yeah, you got you got wide, limited Wi-Fi. Spotty. Yep. Yep. All Everybody the is. You have to go like the like, library no, to like no, use the internet. Probably like use a computer. And everything. Shit, like I, I wish I could have did. I that. wish I could have nah. did that yeah, too. Yeah, no, no. I wish I could. The library from where my mom. Grew up in it was like a ten minute drive, like yeah. a taxi. Mm. It like, but then the currency difference too. Like, oh yeah, no, that like, currency bro, is different. Like, yeah, it is different. Twenty dollars last year a week in Cameroon and Facts. Nigeria and shit like that. Oh, you yeah, know, bro, twenty dollars yeah. is nothing to. Them. <laughs> you said everybody over there was what you're saying. Oh yeah, no, basically everybody over there is just like in New York. They're always awake. They're always you know hustling, yeah. selling something because right. some people literally had like probably bought like maybe. Twenty thousand dollars worth of uh, like maybe a food that they're gonna try to sell, but probably only sold like maybe one thousand of that. Just, right, like, right. They're not making a lot of profit over there because everybody's really struggling. That's why they be there. finessing niggas coming for Bro, shit. They uh -huh. definitely do because yeah. they definitely was trying to you know hustle me over there. No, facts. Me too. She, I've seen it. If it wasn't for like, Dog, the like, moment I landed. At the airport, oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, me you too. Know, you walk bro. out, you, you get. Well, it took us like an hour and a half it to get our three. bags. It took us yeah, three hours. Three bro. hours to get three your bags, bro. Hours, bro. See, they they be bullshit. Yeah, about they, right, yeah. That's no, that's the. Bro, I still they, remember that shit as a kid. It was like yeah, that but I understand why yeah. they be bullshitting because the resources are nah, very yeah. strapped nah, over nah, there. No, nah, nah, they got it. Ironically, even though it's the most, yeah. it's the most resourceful continent. Yeah, let alone the countries are highly way more resourceful than like most other countries. Right. Ironically. The financial aspect is that is also resourceful that they're not benefiting off of it. Right. No, exactly. So. I mean, it's systematic white supremacy. That's mm -hmm. what it is. I mean, that straps them economically. Yeah, we talked about that. I mean, because Nigeria, week. Cameroon, these are some of the richest countries in Africa, but yeah. yet you got crooked politicians yep. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Crooked politicians that are running stuff that are basically puppets of of systematic white supremacy. They were basically placed there. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, after they get placed there, they just they hold the office hostage. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're presidents or yeah. prime ministers for like 10, 12 years. How long plus. has our, our president been the president? Since 1982. Oh, Since no. 1982, bro. Hey, 1982, we've had the same the Same Cameroon president. Yeah, yeah. that's supposed to be a president, right? Every four years, election. Right? Yeah, that's supposed to, is it supposed to be? That's, the, know, Ameri that's the American yeah, politics yeah. way, right? Yeah. But over there, America. it's like there's no real decorum. There's no checks and balances over there. Shit, I guess your son is probably the next, you know, president. That's what he's trying to do. Yes, exactly. he's, that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to run it like a dictatorship. It's, it's like hereditarian type of shit. Yeah, yeah. like like on some it, royal only family if you're shit. within that blood. That's why my uncle, our uncle Divato, and all that chief of Ganjo Belinda, and everything. Yeah, like his family said, and that's why I bring up how one of his sons is the stay at home working dude in America. And the other one's a waiter who's trying to go against that whole privilege standpoint. Right. And Jara, the, the younger one, she, the right. younger one's a male that? waiter. I mean, should we they both moved that? to America. They both yeah. moved to America to make a living. One's doing the stay at home shit. And the other one is like, just starting from the bottom. Like he's a male wait, waiter, just like, you know, waiting tables and stuff, just grinding. All right. Mm. You know, and like not using his privilege. Not taking advantage of his privilege. Uh, the other one's taking advantage of his privilege, working from home and everything else. Luxury in California with a Mustang and everything, but he works from home. All he does is type shit and call shit. I mean, okay, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll say, okay, you it's get, good you that get, you said that. Um, is there a... Uh, yeah, we're going to ask... We're gonna yeah, ask yeah, no, we're going to tangent look, Legend look, look, because we know Legend's going to come in with some fire. So. Yeah, yeah, so look, look. So you say that a guy can't really stay at home and everything like that, but what if he is an entrepreneur, though? Like he's That's supposed true. to be home and everything like that. He, it, I mean, he doesn't have a reason he doesn't to, have to leave and everything like right. that. He could just stay home, you know, do it. True. He got to do clean the house if he needs to. If he got to leave because he a wants a better man. scenery, a um, scenery or something boss. like that. So as long as like, as long as he is still doing, staying productive, 
even outside of that's work. Right. That's right. That's yeah. that's the that's way I categorize. The whole point. That's yeah. the way I categorize it. Is He's basically... not just sitting at home, wake up, do his work, and then stay at home the whole day, yeah. like a hermit. Yeah, yeah. Like he could shit. do that, but of course he could just leave and like, then go do something else. You and know, just, like going to the gym, working out, staying yeah, in shape, exactly. and all that shit, not becoming this flat, sloppy slow. Exactly. Slob. Well, that's like, why I basically kind of summed it up in a nutshell word, mm-hmm. which was uh, productive. Just be productive. Figure out a way how to utilize this to be productive. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because like, imagine the one that just stays at home all day, but then he's like a father and a husband and all that. You think those kids are going to look up to their dad like, yeah, he's the man. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's being a good supporter father. But so are they going to look at him be... like, yeah, he's the man. That's the man I want to be. Like, let's I say mean, he has a son. Okay. And okay. that no, son. I'm going to try to, you know, play it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, let's say he has a son. Okay. And that son is looking up to his dad as this dude that's just always at home all the damn time. Okay. And so he's working. able to play with him all the time. Yeah, but okay. he's just at home all the time. So now that because son, he's working. in his head, he's thinking, my dad works from home mm-hmm. like you know like a real man stays at home with his child <laughs> that's the, how that son's you see how you, you're making it sound i know i know crazy, but that's though, how it's gonna be interpreted for the kid yeah. i'm thinking like that child yeah i'm putting myself in that child but and then I they're mean, gonna go to school like yeah my dad's a real man he works from home i mean what does he do that's what i'm pretty sure the son's gonna say and he's gonna be like yeah he he works for this you know big you know company or something you know making a lot of money he's always there you know building you know stuff for me like he's always there for the kid always trying to support the kid i don't think that's gonna make him not you know, so like in his him. social groups that kid's social groups whenever mm-hmm. he's like with his with his classmates and his friends and everything right, right. you think their dads are doing the same thing and when they hear his dad is doing that that they're gonna and, still respect that kid to that same degree and then then i'm pretty sure he's gonna be like yeah my dad probably makes more than you so he could probably support me that's gonna be way. as flex as that well my dad makes more than your dad and then what is his dad doing working at what well, where does he work at what which one they're um, the other kids you know his friends, yeah the, are, the other kids dads on. have to regardless of what they're doing they have to get up and go to work every i mean day. what are they doing like, if it's like his dad works for a big like, company though. regardless if it's like their dad's doing some constructual contracting shit mm-hmm. or their dad's like in the office but he has to go to that office like regardless of which one their dad they know their dad's as always having to go to work in the morning mm-hmm. and then come home at night after they get off of school and they're like, hey, dad's home. Where the other dude, his dad is just home all damn day. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to have his own responsibilities to There's actually gonna be a go. resentment. Look, look, because I'm pretty sure who who's picking up the kid. Like, the school bus is dropping off or, he, I bet the or dad, something like that? I bet the stay-at-home dad is also sure, picking up yeah, the kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's going to pick him up. So, so he's going to be active so, for that. So think about who picks up the kids. Usually it's the moms, right? I mean, some dads do it too. Mo- uh, yeah, but most of the let time me, it's the moms. Let me so. Yeah, go ahead, Elijah. Yeah, go, yeah. go. Um, you turn the mic up or yeah, yeah. Please, Quincy, if you can help him out. I know you... There's a headphone right there. Give us a yeah. second. Well, before before anything, like before yeah. you interject, because I know you're about to interject, it's like the, the final point I was going to make before Legend chimes in is that Imagine, like, you know, because, like, I have nieces and nephews and everything, is that when you're in that carpool line and, like, all the kids are getting picked up, it's always the moms, it's like, soccer moms, you know, mm-hmm. that minivan shit. You know, you think about the, the shit that... But I feel that's the traditional though. way to yeah. think about yeah, it. Yeah, that's the back I, That's all yeah. I, that's all that's all I think now. about. That's but all I you think gotta about. you got to remember where we're at. You got to analyze the room. You know what I'm saying? Know the audience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not what we at with oh, things. Oh, yeah. They're still working now. To so a let, certain let extent. Let, 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 let <laughs> you chime in on this. All right. So, I've been quiet. You know, just, <laughs> He's been listening. Sizing up just where we listening. at. Um, I want to go to the... To the Bible. Oh, let's get biblical with it. Yeah, this is, yeah. now, this well, is more no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That mean, I like why you're going there because I had some a biblical kind of perspective oh, I wanted to get on to. Yeah. So, oh, we're religious, so, religious, not yeah, really biblical. So, religious. I am a Christian, so Amen. I'll see the cross. Mm-hmm. Likewise. Know? Amen. Yeah, so Let's go to Proverbs 6, 6, Oh, Proverbs are good. good um, dude. This dude walked in. He was I ready. I love Proverbs. Yeah, I know, <laughs> so, right? This dude, um, <laughs> he was ready. ready. So, you know, Proverbs if anybody don't good, know what Proverbs, Proverbs, Proverbs is a book a that was written by the wisest king, Psalms king and Proverbs, yeah. Solomon. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, Proverbs is mm. the book of wisdom. So mm. let's see what it says. Wisdom talk. Let's see what it says. Uh, go to the ant. You sluggard. 
Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer, no ruler. Yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Mm. So basically what that means mm. is, is, you know, how are you preparing? You know, if, if you're a father and husband and you're supposed to be the leader of the household, you're supposed to be the leader of the family, you need to be teaching not just your wife, but also your kids mm-hmm. that's watching you, that's looking up to you. You have to lead. Mm. The best way to lead is not by standing at the goddamn house, mm. picking up the goddamn kids. Because who's making the money? If if you're at the house, you're I mean, not making the money. Not he's even probably making the money. That's what I'm saying. He has a work stay at home job that I'm with you. Hundred k. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just trying to be on that. the other side well, of no, things. No, like no, I no. understand what you're I, I'm with you because mm-hmm. like the, the unfortunate part about yeah. what you what you're saying, which is I totally agree with. That's why like what you you say speaking that scripture hit me and like thank you someone mm-hmm. is on my side on this bedroom <laughs> but at the same time it is also 2024 and you can make so much money still working from home entrepreneur yeah right i know they got youtube you yeah know, no. they got you know tiktok they got instagram cryptocurrency all yep. sorts of yeah cryptocurrency shit. you got yeah, there's all you know, sorts other of shit. coding remote jobs yep. coding but, you yeah. Can, yeah. yeah but even yeah. though you do have all IT. these different ways that you can create income and create revenue you have a wife that's you know also mm-hmm. she's looking at you like okay why should i follow this man thank you why should i you know let this man leave Let this me. Man cook, I'm bro. going off of the you Let know, him times. Cook. I'm going off of times now. But that's why Females, Let him look, 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 cook. Look, look, females nowadays literally only want you for your money. So you think they're gonna change because of that? Well well, here's the thing. I feel like if I mean if she's gonna ask those questions, mm-hmm. then the man's gotta bring more than just being at home with a job to the table. You gotta yeah. bring some you gotta bring knowledge, something. Either it be knowledge, either it be other avenues of interest. It, whether it be you know you you you're into music you're into fashion you're into you know and being an engineer you're into uh, it you're into just being productive mm-hmm. have multiple streams of productivity that you can point to as a man if you're going to be at home right if you're going to be the stay-at-home dad be like all right well i'm at home however i got this going on that going on that going on that going on so if my woman wants to be like well how can how can he lead me well, point to it. Look what I'm doing. Like I got all this shit going on. And, yeah. you know what I, I'm I, I do agree, but I do feel like a woman first have to be a woman. Yeah, mm. yeah. And, and I mean, I don't yeah. know if y'all. Jay, no. We were just talking yeah. about traditional roles. I was like, right, yeah, yeah. right. Traditional no, I agree. Roles. I put in. I agree. It's like he was here the whole time. Right. I put in the group chat. Let's go. Three questions. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I was yeah. gonna bring him up, but you're three. here questions i put this in the group chat do you have them memorized because i can read them i don't have them i don't have memorized. just pull them up just pull them up just but for the audience for the audience out there these questions are going to be questions that every man should ask a woman before he pays for anything for her Mm -hmm. take her anywhere or get serious with her these are the first question that you need to ask a woman before you give your time your attention and your energy as a woman how do you treat a man that's question number one you should be asking her and ladies if you're looking at this you need to know the answer to these questions so what's the question again number one yeah as a woman how do you treat a man how do you treat a man mm. you want me to read the answer the ideal answer mm. the ideal answer you with, have it memorized yeah okay. i got it memorized okay. with respect mm-hmm loyalty honor mm. you need to respect that man yep i was just talking to uh my friend he's nervous when he talked you know to women going up to women i said hey look man you've been there if you're afraid that's a message from your insides go and get that mm. ask her for her number now because women are emotional you have to keep that in mind 
come up to a woman, hey, I just want to let you know you are the most beautiful thing I ever saw in my life. Mm. Could I please have your number? What I would love to have your it number. Usually works. And what if she said? Yeah, well, yeah, well, well, yeah, it usually works. Okay, okay. Well, hold, 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 I might have. I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Okay, yeah. okay. What if she says no? Okay, Ooh. if she's if she this is what happens because that happens too. If she, yeah. if if, if mm-hmm. she says no, mm-hmm. you're very loyal, and I know your boyfriend is just as loyal as you. Is that true? Damn, he playing mind games. Well, what if she? What if she just that says? Game, what nah. if she just says no? What if she just says? I like that's it. what he's supposed to. Say if she has one or yeah, not, exactly. What if, what if, exactly. What if she just like says it. no? Mm-hmm. She don't have a boyfriend. She mm-hmm. don't. She's not talking to nobody. She's just not interested. Okay. I can. I, I don't if, even respond to that because I have a point. I'm trying not, to get at. Yeah. If she's not interested, stay blessed. Yeah. Okay. Damn, Stay nice blessed because handling. at the end of the day, I would rather a female that's interested Damn. than a female that's not, and I waste true. my it's goddamn time just true. texting a Fact. females that's not even gonna text my ass back. I agree. Don't I, don't stoop to the level of just like spite and everything. I agree. But, but what here, I said, if she so said she had a boyfriend, blood. right? Because just because you with someone, don't mean, don't mean you with you that one. I agree. Yeah, I heard someone say this the other day. I just want to say this real quick: is that I heard someone say she's single until she's married. That's, not, not, even, that's not, not even true. It though. sounds toxic, but it's like only to that, a degree damn, where like true. That's, that's, that's not still even true. Open. That's, that's not even. But that's real though. Open. Yeah. That's not even real though. But like that's just all. Uh, yeah. When I heard that, what yeah. you said, that's why I just clicked. But go but ahead. Here's, I'm here's, sorry. But here's the thing. That's the proper way a man should react yeah. to rejection. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? Stay put. However, yeah. the reality. Is a lot of men don't yeah, react yeah, that majority, way. Yeah. They, they, men tar- yeah. st- yeah. they tend to get very emotional. Right, right. They may not exert it in the moment, mm-hmm. but they'll go back home and be like, "Damn, they'll but be hurt by then, that shit." And 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 my thing is, is like, learn from failure. Rejecting is good well, for you. Let, let me, because me and my friend That's was my talking point. about that too. And yeah, what, go ahead, go ahead. Because there are just some mean women out there. Right. Like yeah. if That's you, what I'm saying. He's like, okay, yeah. what if I'm at a gas station and I see a girl that's attractive, she's pumping her gas, right. I want to get her number, but she looks angry, she looks mad. She ain't talking about right. nothing. So right. how, I still want that female, right? Uh-huh. What what can I do to still get her number, even though she looks mad? I walk up to her, she's got a mean look on her face, like, don't talk to me, motherfucker, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> how can I still get... This girl number, and I told him, I said, look, <laughs> women are emotional. Use that emotion against her. He says, how do you do that? I said, okay, this is what you do. You see a girl at the gas station or at the gas station or at the movies or whatever. Well, not at the movies. <laughs> she's with somebody. <laughs> Don't talk to her at the movies. But uh, if she's by herself and, and you walk up to her, you see her energy. Yeah. Emotions is another form of energy. So you see a girl, let's say, gas station, walk up to her. You smile and, and she's not having a smile on her face. She got a mean look on her face. This is all you do. You say, Hey, I know you might be having a bad day today. Sorry about whatever going Shut on. Shut the fuck up. That's the They not they not They gonna give you that bad energy for real. Nah, for that's <laughs> because like nigga, who is you? No, because that gonna, part wasn't they, gonna go so they, well. They, no, no, no. <laughs> that's not because they gotta see what you are. You know what I right, mean? Right. Who the hell is he coming up to me? <laughs> so yeah. what you do is you acknowledge the fact that they might be having a bad day. Hey, look. My name is Ryan. I'm not trying to bother you or anything. I know you may be having a bad yeah. day, but I just want to let you know you're the most beautiful thing I ever saw in my life. I would love to get your number. That's so, what you, so what you just did, you acknowledge the fact that she's in some type of emotional havoc. Then you compliment her above and beyond. Wow, you're the most beautiful thing I ever saw in my life. And then you say, hey, I would love to have your number. Nah, I got a boyfriend. I'm sorry. It's just not no. And then and then yeah, that's when yeah, you go yeah. and then that's when you you compliment Stay her blessed. again. You come and you say, oh, you "Wow, it down. wow." Well, I know that I I know you loyal. You are very loyal, and I know your boyfriend is just as loyal as you. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. And she know damn well she not. <laughs> I know, I know. No, 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 you know no, no, you, no, no, again, no, I forgot to ask. Your boyfriend is just as I know as that you. your boyfriend, and guys, this is stuff that you need to use. I know that your boyfriend is just as loyal as you. Is that true? 
Look oh, at her face. Oh, look look yeah, at her yeah, eyes. Yeah, she's, 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 she's not going to be She's not going to be able to lie. Her eyes That's can't lie. The eyes, yeah. the, eyes, the eyes are the window to the How soul. How bad are you? Because yeah, also, yeah. girls will just say that no, because they because, don't want to deal with no, it. Yeah, 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 a boyfriend might not exist. Yeah, Not only that, but if she does have a boyfriend... A lot of females want to be loyal to a man that's not loyal to them. And they're just in a relationship but not in a relationship. They're they're just, they're in they're sla- they're slaves to that relationship. <laughs> Yeah, because they they want to be loyal. I heard that. But he's not they, lying. They want to be loyal to a guy that they day. know ain't oh loyal to them. So you could be, don't say nothing. You could be that saver. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't say Uh-oh. it. <laughs> you could be. Uh-oh. You could be oh, that no. saver. Where wow, this this is my knight in shining armor. Captain what? Captain so, who? Captain so who? my thing, but Captain I couldn't who? think of another word. My bad, y'all. So don't my thing. Don't save her. My, you don't want to be saved. But, don't but, save but there her. are. A, I'm, I'm gonna be, be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I would say. 80% of the girls that's in my DMs are in relationships. And I'm going to explain the reason why that. Mm-hmm. It's because the most easiest girls to get are girls that's in relationships. You would think that it's not, not that opposite. He's not lying. You know, opposite. Yeah. That's not even the word. You think it's the opposite. Oh, my God. But He's the thing is, here's the reason why. is because when a female's in a relationship, she's already tied down to a situationship. So that means if it's her comfort. boyfriend, yeah, her boyfriend, you know, make her mad. Damn. I feel girls in their 20s. Exactly. Because, no, no, because yeah, yeah. women are emotional. Because women are emotional. Girls in their 20s need to hear this clip. They need to yeah. clip this. We're yeah. clipping this one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So because women are so emotional, they think that just because they're not happy, something's wrong. Yeah. They're not living their best life. They don't understand. The logic is, okay, if something's not good it doesn't mean go look for good <laughs> it doesn't mean that it means find out why it's not good work on it and focus on repairing it not look for another yeah, he's good and be happy so i have to go find another happy guy yeah, happy yeah. And shit. but that's <laughs> but that when women get in relationship they think that they going to be happy forever yeah the whole relationship is going to be butterflies marshmallow cupcakes and yep, and like walnuts or some shit like that <laughs> And that's, cupcakes and walnuts. It's not like that. It's not like the movie. What a combination of things. <laughs> it's not like no, that. No, no. I, I get what your point is because, like, emotions are always fleeting. You, know, you, mm-hmm. you, you'll feel a, a hundred, a thousand, wherever I'm on emotions every day. And for any guy that's in a relationship or trying to talk to a female, you have to let her know that, look, and I was, I called you, you know, earlier, mm-hmm. and, um, uh, that situation <laughs> but you know like i told you on the phone you have to tell a female look you're not perfect i'm not perfect so that means we're going to make mistakes there's going to be days i won't like you there's going to be days you won't like me but the main thing is is what we do to fix why you don't like me or why i don't like you if i come at you and you say ryan why you come at me like that you hurt my feelings okay I apologize from the heart. And now I'm going to do this differently. Show remorse and then immediately find out a solution. Don't act like you're not sorry when a person tell you how they feel. Vice versa. If if you do something to me, I'm going to let you know. And if you say, oh, I ain't going to apologize because I don't really feel bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right and it, all right. Is, it is deep because i'm actually going through something like that yeah yeah right, yeah. right now yeah. you know life but, 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 is like your perspective though mm-hmm. legend mm-hmm. i'm gonna i'm gonna just ex- not expose a lot but i'm gonna just say for you mm-hmm. i call i made a new term for you your lover boy legend <laughs> lover boy legend <laughs> lover boy legend right? yeah, because man. you're a hopeless romantic and all that and I, <laughs> the reason why i made that term is because i'm the opposite in ways where like mm-hmm. i could be a bit emotionless me too. Like, I, I'm kind of the. I, I kind of lean more towards that direction. Yeah, too. however, it, it, it hurts you though. It hurts. It you does to a certain because, extent. Like, women are emotionally. But at the same time, I'm women, not about to. Uh, I'm not. Too. I'm not saving nobody who don't deserve it. Yeah. Point yeah, blank. Yeah, you are saving. You're saying and the you got, and, In order earlier. for me to put me to want to be in a saving position, uh, you got to earn that shit. 
Fact. Yeah. Period. Like I'm Meet not, me halfway at least. Yeah. You you there's gotta be this is a two way street. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't mm-hmm. gonna be no one way where you see the sign one way. Nah, it ain't working like that. No. It doesn't mm-hmm. mean that he's wrong because he still holds frame and he's not yeah. gonna just be manipulating and taking advantage of it right. like on some sim shit. Right. But at the same time he just cares more than most right. like Mary, but more see, than we my would question care. I have a question for you. Yeah. Like you said you're not gonna save anyone that you don't think need to be saved. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's say there's a female that's watching this right now. Okay. She's been in a relationship for two years. Mm-hmm. She met this guy, thought he was awesome. She fell in love with him. Now is he's another person. He forgets anniversaries. Mm. Don't bring her flowers like he used to. Mm. No Complacency more dates. goes both ways. So now she's feeling. not happy. Mm-hmm. Now she's coming home mad, angry. Mm-hmm. She needs saving. <laughs> <laughs> How how can this type of woman run into you? I get okay. the, I get let me, the let me, I'm gonna respond to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is between that. y'all two. Yeah, yeah, I get okay, my response to that. <laughs> okay, my response to that is <laughs> my response to that is uh you made your bed. <laughs> now you lie in that motherfucker. That's my response to that. <laughs> you hey, Chris, dug that hole with that, that shovel, time. but hey, you can climb out that motherfucker. Like that that's <laughs> but <laughs> That's but my response to I that. Do, okay. <laughs> Once so, you climb out, holla at me. So I'll are be you, right here. <laughs> so are you saying <laughs> that in that mindset of depression, which she will be in depressed mode, right? you will want her to get out of that depressed mode, then come to you already no. healed? Well, no. Well, she, first of all, it once she climbs out of that hole, mm-hmm. Right, that she dug herself because I don't feel sorry for people that dig their, Ooh, their own hole. I like right. this sample. Okay, 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 are you saying that? Accountable. I'm but, all with that. But, but, but again, just I like I, I mean, I, like I, I have to be honest. Yeah, as men, we say we're not psychics, we're not, nope. you know, yeah, uh, we can't mind. read your mind. Well, right, could that woman read his mind? Knew he was going to change two years later. No, no, but at the same time, but at the same time, I feel like, yeah, no, no, I feel like. Since she didn't know, she didn't do the due diligence to mm-hmm. understand what she was getting into. Out, mm. To be vetting out. Yeah. That's why it's her fault. Yeah, because, ladies, listen because, to what he's saying. Because you, talk. she didn't do the due diligence. She didn't, wisdom talk. she didn't do her own checks and balances to yeah. understand the situation she was getting into mm-hmm. with that type of guy. Right. Because if, because after a certain amount of time, if you're interacting with somebody, after a certain amount of time, you're going to get a good base mm-hmm. of who you're dealing with right yeah. mm-hmm. a foundation you're going to be able to walk on that motherfucking foundation it don't take you too long to re- right yeah exactly like it takes about that. i say about 60 to 90 days yeah right? exactly you, i'm about yeah. to say two you to get four a months. decent idea uh, that's literally what i was about to say of the, yeah of the two of, to four months right of yeah. someone's personality you know who that person is i mean obviously there's many different facets and complexities to people in general yeah. right mm-hmm. but the foundation of somebody you'll get a good sense a decent mm-hmm. sense oh yeah Right, right. Once you get that decent sense, then now you're at a crossroad. You're at a fork in the road. Are you going to mm-hmm. keep going? Or are you going to be like, uh, I'll tread lightly and see what unravels. Yeah. Or I'll kind of take a step back a little bit. I'm not going to not mess with this person, but I'm going to kind of step back a little bit. Yeah, just to yeah. kind of see what caution. happens. And, yeah, pursue with caution. I, I definitely, definitely want to let the women yeah. know that what he's saying is that when you first meet a man, you need to be evaluating, studying, assessing, looking for red flags, looking for warning signs. Exactly. Do not come in this man's fucking life and just think that everything is la, 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 la. He's my baby. He's my husband. He's my this. Because you, you got to think. If he's a bad person, he's not going to come in your life saying, I'm a bad person. Exactly. <laughs> he's not going to come like that. not going to say that. Right. And it's, it's sad, but you're going to have to, there are some things that you're going to have to already know based on your past experiences. Use your past experiences and make that help your future experiences. Because at the end of the day, you, I hate to say this, but you have to look at the bad first. You can't just look at the good. We get fooled because we looked at the good. I would even. Say I was talking. I don't mean to cut you off, oh, yeah, bro. No, but no, I, I ahead, was talking to this female. Go ahead, cook. I was talking to this female. I saw the good. 
Then when the bag came, I'm like, whoa, what's this? You it was off. this all along. I just right. didn't acknowledge it because I was focused on the fucking good. Mm-hmm. I was focused on the fucking good. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And when she showed me that she wasn't good, there was a part of me that that old part of me that came out now all that shit that I did not acknowledge that I let slide when that other side came out of me she didn't give me that same Damn. loyalty yeah I gave her that yeah. loyalty right that forgiveness it wasn't reciprocated it wasn't reciprocated mm-hmm Oh yeah, he disrespectful. He this and that. Mm-hmm. You was disrespecting me. I let that shit slide, yeah, exactly. bitch. Gave you, I let you that gave shit her the slide, bitch. Of the <laughs> yeah, I was, I, that's crazy. I was just about to say that. Yeah. It's like it's like you'll see the red flags, but at the same time, you like they could change if they just had me in their life. Like, but see, and I'm patient enough to the, give them the, that that benefit of doubt, but at the same time, be aware of that their endeavors. Yep. So it's like. The fact that I'm still being here through the good times and the bad times that you you expect to get that same respect in return. And see, and see the thing about that about people just skipping over red flags in general, that tends to lead to not only a bad relationship, but that also builds drama and creates. I mean, not drama, it, it, trauma. It creates trauma and builds trauma mm-hmm. within that person, and then they take that and move it to the next that's, man that yeah, doesn't right, deserve right. it. And, right? and see, oh, yeah. and, and, and see, yeah. like you just said, they mm-hmm. take that and they move it. So the thing is, let's say you you was a good guy, you was in high school, good guy, treat women right, flowers, candy, all that bullshit. Mm-hmm. So now you get with a woman, Damn, man, she's not supposed to be like that. She's not used. To, <laughs> you're not used. God she's damn. not used to that. Yeah. So she treats you the way that she was treated yeah. by the other man that she dated. Yeah. And you, why are you treating me like that? She's cursing you out. You tell her, hey, look, I can't be it's with somebody that's going to curse me out. It's right. the, yeah. you, I can't be with somebody that's going to curse me out. Bye. Yeah. And you stunned. You, you stunned. You like, whoa, hold up. I thought you were going to say, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that no more. No, she said, bye. You can go, but you don't go. You stay with that mm-hmm. because you love her. You're too deep in. Mm-hmm. And you should have never loved her to that extent before you seen all of her. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't love somebody. Ladies, yeah, listen. Yeah. You don't give yourself to a man until you know who that man is. Damn. Or I'll even Where's add to that. Double I'll down. add to that. You don't continue to love a man once those red flags start to get highlighted within the relationship, when yeah. you're already way, when you have, you could be in a relationship for one year, two years, three years. Like some, there's always an opportunity. A therapy episode. There's always, there's always, there's always, there's always, a, there's always a. Someone needs to hear this shit. Keep going. My bad. There's, a, there's always a moment for you to escape. You can always leave. You know that, right? Like, the, and if there's an, and if the, if you're in that situation to where you're not able to leave properly. Then that's your fault. You didn't build yourself a contingency plan. Mm. It's foolish to not have a contingency plan. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just to put like, all your mm-hmm. eggs in one basket. And like, just, I'm gonna help them out. It's crazy when you just say that. Just as a woman, any women listening, if a man puts his hands on you, he hits you, right? Oh. At that moment, listen. At that fucking moment, you got one option and one choice. Is this what I want to deal with for the rest of this relationship? Mm. Fuck all this Oh is he gonna do it again Yes he's gonna do it again <laughs> <laughs> But he loves me He takes care most of me Most women are, But like most women If they love him so much They'll endure Yeah And and see And and again I know You can't get Your face says it all Gianna. When you I know when, If you decide <laughs> know, to stay ladies If you decide to stay with a man That puts his hands on you And we're not talking We're talking about You know This Malice in his heart. We're not talking about y'all arguing and he's restraining yeah, you. Yeah, not that and, verbal res- You know, shit. grabbing not verbal you. Abuse. We're not right. talking about. Well, we're not but talking like, about life on the line. Shit. Grabbing. We're not talking about that. We we talking about fist to the face, fist to the back. You know, he's trying to hurt your ass, throwing you around. Okay, all that because shit. not mm-hmm. every every time a guy puts his hands on a woman, it's not always. You know what? Because women blow shit up. Okay, if. If you're harming me or harming yourself, I will restrain you. Yeah. Restraining right. is not hitting. Mm-mm. 
Ladies, understand that because I see too much stuff online. He hit me. No, he restrained you yeah, to make sure you're that you're not going to harm him or yourself. Yeah, exactly. Because we'll be exactly. the one, the first person to, you know, get John the measures. Uh, oh, that too. Jonathan They'll Majors. They'll call the cops on us real quick and say that, hey, no, they did this to us when we didn't even do anything. Well, Jonathan Majors is on film running away. Exactly. <laughs> running away. No, literally, he messed up literally, when he put her he back in the car. He was trying to put her in the car and ran off when she yeah. stay in the car. Literally was running for his career. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Full stride, like yeah, perfect yeah. form. And, he, and that, nigga, perfect and that form, nigga knew boy. that. And he knew that. He knew yeah. he was and running like, from Maybe he was trained while he was shooting one of those King the Conqueror films but he had proper form running, dog. <laughs> running right. like his career depended on it and, uh, and it I'm, did I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just piggyback so basically sure if you're a woman you listen if a man hits you you got one option and I give the second one just for you I love him I love him <laughs> alright number yeah. one leave him immediately period mm -hmm. yeah yeah I don't yeah, care yeah, if yeah. you in his 100%. house leave him immediately we all can agree with that and 100% if, and if he you know, if he's, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it again. No, nah, fuck you. This shit. You get counseling mm -hmm. because, Therapy. but you don't be with him yeah, during no, the counseling. Doing, like yeah. you still single because Post. whatever it is that he's dealing with, he probably seen his mom get beat on. Yeah, he probably maybe, saw yeah. his stepmom get beat on. He probably seen his sister get yeah. beat on, and now he's thinking, "Wow, I seen this all my whole life growing up. This is what I'm supposed to do when I get mad because this is what I seen other guys do when Wisdom they got talk. mad. They beat. So you are gonna have to you need whatever you do, leave the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to help him from afar and be a friend for him, and while he's handling his shit, get counseling. You know, and then once he heals all the fucking way, then you, if you choose to, you can give him another chance after he's healed, way after mm. he's fucking healed. Mm. But whatever you do, you still need to fucking leave yeah, because he thanks. has a problem that he did not solve whenever that problem arrived, when he was little or when he was a teenager or when he got grown. So that's number one. Now for a man, guys, listen, if a man that's listening right now, if a woman Put her hands on you. This is what you do. You sit her down at the kitchen table, on the couch, whatever. This ain't no jokey matter. This ain't no play play. We not laughing. We not joking. Look at me and heed my warning. Mm. If you ever put your hands on me again, I'm, I'm gone. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Packing my shit mm -hmm. and gone. Do you understand? If mm -hmm. she says, he ain't going to leave, you ain't going to leave, then you leave now. Mm. Leave frame. at that moment. Hold Since you thought I was joking, frame. I'm gone now. I like that. Yep. The ultimatum. Mm. And some females will literally try to double down to you. Yeah, no. Now, it, no, now, yeah. It, now, if exactly. she, now again, they're not they gonna, gonna believe you, you. Yeah, exactly. because no other man. A lot of guys don't stand on business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. They Whole don't stand exactly. on business. They, don't, they, they don't. say they don't. one thing and they do another thing. Actions speak louder than words. So one. you leave her then. I love this shit. This is good shit. And if and you know she's bye because some of these women they just don't believe us. Bye. I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And then when she's at home by herself, when she's in bed by herself, when she's watching that movie that's reminding her of you, the shit that y'all got going on, the shit that y'all got in common, she gonna think, wow, I fucked up. Yeah, right, right. I'm the cool, yeah, hold on. Yeah. And, and, take it and if you ever, again, if you stand on business, if you leave, like you say you're gonna do, when she comes back, she gonna be a whole different woman. Because she knows that this man don't play. He said he going to lose. He going to leave. He going to leave. His man said, yep. don't act yeah. like that. He going to act like yeah, don't. There's, there's, there's many dates. that they realize how good you were until yeah. they, you're gone. Type Same shit. thing yep. as dates. If a woman's messing up the date, stop the date immediately and take her back to her place. Or drop, even drop if she off. shows yeah, up you just, late. You got to just stand stand on your square, man. Yeah, whole basically, frame. Stand yeah. in your square. Stay in your square. That's, I, that's basically I, what it I comes down to. I personally call it holding your frame. You know, and that's what I didn't do. Beliefs. Like, yeah, I, 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 I didn't do that yeah. with old girl. You know, she, you don't yeah. fold. she's cursing on dates and shit. And I know she probably going to see this shit. Yeah. <laughs> cursing on dates and why the fuck you parked back there? You know, it's just like I should have just told her, hey, look. What kind you of know, complaint? <laughs> I'm like, are you joking? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, and that's I don't know if she true. was serious. I don't know if she joking, but we don't use that type of language. This, right. is, this is a great tangent for me to go to the Eve effect. So I made up a philosophy mm -hmm. this past week called mm -hmm. the Eve effect. Yeah. So it, you went biblically. I'm going to go biblically too from the beginning, Adam and Eve. The Eve effect is 
Eve was convinced from the snake, the serpent, to eat to bite that apple that they already were told by God not to bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then what she does after she bites the apple, like, yeah, Adam, go ahead. Adam, mm-hmm. blind ass, pussified, simp ass nigga, <laughs> bites that shit. Oh, if yeah. he tells me to, even though God told me not to, I know better. But Eve did it. Oh, my, my, maybe God, like maybe God's over exaggerating. It's not that bad. And then mm-hmm. now we're all sinners. And then if you go a little bit further, when God came in the garden. God said, Adam, he didn't say nothing about no Eve. Exactly. He said, Adam. As the man, as a leader. Adam. As the leader. Did you eat from the fruit? I forbid you not yeah. to. And he said, well, the woman you sent me. Yeah, no. She yeah, gave yeah, it to yeah. me. The woman yeah. you sent me. Like, <laughs> exactly. like, I'm blaming you for sending me this woman exactly. because this woman that you sent me got me to eat this goddamn apple. That so he tried to yeah. flip it. That mm. Flipping it. starts with the leader. And, that, and that's what happens when we're not leaders. When we're not leaders, we got to blame other people. Yeah. You got to Well, well you did this to me. You yeah. know, if you're you the leader, the you are responsible. Uh-huh. You're fucking responsible for your fucking actions. You're a grown yeah. ass man. You're a grown ass man. Mm. That yep. woman is not above you. You are above her. Yeah. I'm fucking tired of this civilization. What is shit we in? <laughs> this generation. This generation is retarded yeah. and fucking stupid. <laughs> R word, R word. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking PR me gotta come out like you can't say certain words. My, my, like, my yeah, no, you're good, man. It's just like I got someone's yeah. gotta be the one. But we gotta be leaders. We it, we don't lead, we, we don't blame. It, like, like as long as we're not just we throwing just, around just, just exercise, it one time, just it's just okay. exercise of just a little bit of decorum. Yeah, yeah. play yeah. some chess some more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Move Giuliani. the pieces. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but yeah, throw them grenades. Go ahead, throw them grenades. When God. No, when, about the frags. <laughs> exactly, but when God came in the garden, he was Adam. Mm-hmm. Like you, I put you in charge. You name he all the came animals from his rib. Yeah, Get she's some a helpmate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was a little joke. I just made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny though. You're but funny. no, I like it though. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but at the end of the day, I made you to be all over. All over this, mm-hmm. I made you to be a king, a god. I made you in my image, and you gonna let something? And I'm not trying to disrespect women. No, I'm not trying to do that at all. Because yeah, yeah. I know but y'all we're not feminists, equal. Yeah, yeah. But, but we're, we're not, not equal. equal because I, that's what feminist the feminism thing is. Man and women are equal. Yeah, and I, I, it's bullshit. It's definitely bullshit. And I think it's a deeper. We're plan. complementary. We're equal as far as our significance to society and the world and everything. Right, not like, human, I'm human, but we de- we have different values. Exactly. The, I mean, we're different. We're are, different. We're different genders. So, like, we're gonna we're different. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I mean, women, in my opinion, in my perspective, I feel like women, they realize the power they have, mm-hmm. but in a bad way, like yeah. in a negative way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't like realize a manipulative. They, they, right. They yeah. use it for. They have the. They they uh, utilize that power and. Uh, abuse, it. abuse it to in a negative light but i think they in my opinion i feel like women are they can be more valuable than men when it comes yeah. to high value when it comes to value period mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. let's face it most of the women, time they're the prize i'm sorry right yeah. most of the time they're the prize but let's yeah, be real sense, like sense, they're the nurturers yeah. of our future they bring life. they literally create our yeah, future they, yeah they literally, literally they cre- yeah. they the creation comes through them so like mm-hmm. in a sense like if they weren't so caught up in utilizing their their uh, power in a bad way, mm-hmm. they could utilize it in a good way, make themselves more high value overall, mm-hmm. and just be the higher not. value people overall. Right. So, right? And they could so be- but they don't do that. They do it the other way, mm-hmm. and it's so bad the other way. Yeah. Like it's, it could be it, both extremes. extremes. Yeah. Right. It, it could yeah, be either right. way extreme. Right. So, With the right, woman, right, it right. could be super good to where their high value is higher than our high value. Or it can be super bad. Their bad value mm-hmm. is lower than our bad value. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like, so it's like, you know, the women, women, you guys, and this is me b- literally basically telling y'all, y'all do have the power. When, yeah. that, when that saying is out there, that's real. That's the truth. That's all y'all right. have the power, but y'all don't. Y- what frustrates men is the fact that y'all utilize it y'all, in a bad way. Y'all don't yeah. use it in a negative if way. If Eve would have used her power, for yeah, good, good because way. she knew exactly. what Adam knew. She knew yeah. the same damn thing. Yeah. Right. She knew what Adam knew. Now, right. now, again, this is help. You have Jones, to bro. help him. You're the helpmate. So if he falls off the cliff, well, 
<laughs> Before he falls off the cliff, you have influence over Eve had influence over Adam. Yeah. Because Adam loved her. Yeah. Mm. And when men love women, we do stupid whatever yeah, she, she could wants have us been to a do. motivator, you know, that yeah. pushing, you know, that missing piece to push him towards mm. above right. expectations and everything else. And and that's like, why he's I want to do it more for I, her. I do agree. As well. And that's why um what's what's his name? What the other podcast? Which one? Fresh or fit? Fresh Myron? Yeah. 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 When he says she has to love you more. Yeah, yeah. Because Adam loved Eve more. Yeah, that's why I say he's a simp. Adam loved Who, Eve Myron? more. No, no, Adam. Oh, okay. you know, so Adam, Adam yeah. the first man ever was a simp. Yeah. So yeah. the thing is, if Adam, <laughs> according to the Bible, if, yeah, yeah, if yeah, Adam yeah, was more. Nah, bitch, you you wrong, bitch. Yeah, yeah, to put her, you wrong, bitch. To, like, like I'm not eating this. Why the fuck you do this, bitch? Right. And then he, feminist. He why well, he acting like that? He ain't doing what <laughs> hey, I want him to do. I don't want him to do it. Hey, look, you know, look, look. No, I'm not doing what you want me to do hey, because look. it's not going to help hey, us. Let these go after yeah, you. Look, I'm these. saying, like, what if it, like, um, let's just say everything was reversed. What if you know the devil, the snake, had talked to um Adam. You think he would have gave no, in or not? No, no, we going straight to the. Nah. We going straight to that head. Yeah, nah, he <laughs> yeah. He no, he Adam would have. Because Adam wouldn't care. Look like he would have been like, no, nah. because he wouldn't. No, no, no. It was the power of the pussy no, that no, made him care. No, 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 no. We don't know though. Let's go back. We don't know. We're all naked the whole time. No, 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 no. But let's go back. Adam named all the animals according to to the Bible. Here's the more logical sound one. The That's Bible I'm sorry. Go said Adam named. So Adam would already been familiar with this type of animal. Mm -hmm. That's why the animal didn't come yeah. to, to Adam. Exactly. Because I know you. Better. I named you, nigga. Yeah. I know what you about. I know you're a fucking liar. Yeah. I know you're sneaky. Snakes are snakes. Yeah. But Eve didn't know that. No, uh, yeah. That's a good point. But they and said I, they and I also feel like, I also feel like, uh, my bad to cut you no, off, you bro. And uh, I think if the snake would have, if the devil would have went to Adam first, Adam would be like, well, let me ask God real quick. <laughs> Let's go. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Hey, wisdom yeah. talk. I like that. Let me see if this is okay hey, real quick. Wisdom talk. Like yeah, let me see if this is okay right, real quick. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, yeah. go ahead. You no, no, no. You good. No, you good oh, on okay, that. Okay. Yeah, 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 so I'm lying on that. We'd have checked in with God real quick. Like, all right, let me. And this is why a woman needs direction from a man. Because at the end of the day, if if not talking about serpents, but serpents, if another man is, you know, you come out the house dressing like a, dressing like a, um, yeah, <laughs> a salute. And we uh, say, uh, three or four. we say, yeah, because, like, we can't be saying, yeah, because you know what it means and the calculator, you flip it backwards because like there's, YouTube's also sensitive towards the real term. I right, say right. Three or four. What, what, what's that term? Oh, okay. I'm gonna yeah. say oh. this one time. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's like three or four. Oh, like, this is so the anti slut She's a garden tool. Yeah, so, they don't like slut shaming. Tool. Exactly. Yeah, oh, the garden that's tool. What we there say, you the garden tool. Hey, we're talking about the garden tool. The garden tool. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The garden tool. But, all right. But, but just like like I was saying, when a woman dressing out, that's going to attract more serpents your way, and we don't want you to get. First of all, if you're already attractive, you're already going to have serpents trying to mess up the relationship. They're going to try to holler at you even though you know you got a boyfriend. They're going to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to protect you. Just like Adam would have been trying to, should have been trying to protect Eve when she came to him and said, oh, you want to eat this apple? So no. But women need to understand their roles. Y'all got a beautiful role. The role that y'all have comes with less drama it comes with less um, hassle. It comes with less havoc. It comes from less, you know, uh, stress. It comes with that. It the comes with on that. Us as the man. Why would you want to try to be us? You know how hard yeah. it is to try to fucking be us? Exactly. We don't even like us sometimes. <laughs> I don't even like being a man sometimes because <laughs> yeah. we go through so much <laughs> shit. Uh, Y'all oh, don't want to be us. The higher be you. Rate, the higher, okay, or uh, self deletion. I'm sorry. I'm over here trying to police you guys. Yeah. I said the wrong shit. The higher uh, self deletion rate is on men because of that pressure of having to be the provider, be the leader, be the one to potentially have that family to depend on them. 
24-7. You know? This ain't no we take a break part-time shit. This is 24-7. This is full-time job. Being a man is full-time. We can't just clock in and clock out like y'all can. If you if you think about it, the like fuck? in this modern day, like a lot of like a lot like historically, the the father used to ha- make uh, help make the final decision towards who the woman would ma- who their daughter would marry. Right. And nowadays, like women are choosing, and that's why single mothers exactly. are all time high. Fathers women aren't going to gonna make the best choice. Most women, as a majority, generally speaking, aren't going to make the right choice of men to. Because it's with. about their emotions. It's like, yeah, exactly. Like, like They're Eve. mostly triggered. She which ate is the not, apple because she was emotional. Now you get why I called it she, the Eve Because look what the My serpent philosophy. said to Eve. Yep. If you good. eat it, you. you will be Thank like you. God, knowing good and evil. You will be like God. Like, yep. ooh, what's going to feel like if I'm yeah. God? Yeah. Okay, let me eat I the see, fucking apple. So bringing up that whatever podcast, there was a girl. The fuck? There was a girl that ended up getting kicked off that show. She literally had a tattoo say "I am God" on the back of her neck. Yeah, and it really? just even goes in full circle about the point you're just now making about why Eve was the one more willing to eat the apple because she thought she was gonna be godlike. Yeah, and so. all that benefits, all the privileges that come yeah, with that. Exactly that you'll know all things. Yeah. The serpent said, "You'll know good yeah, and evil. They, you'll they know just everything." That sweet good shit yeah, in and, and, ear, yeah, just like how these yeah. guys do with the women. Yeah, they I end take up you on getting, trips. Yeah, yeah. I all, take yeah, you on a yacht. Yeah, I give you, you get all, all the pregnant. money in the world. Hell no, I ain't having that kid. But now yeah. they're a single mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all need ladies. Oh. Listen, wisdom talk. Wisdom talk. Yeah. Damn, that was wow. great. And we still got two more to do uh, before we get Yeah, yeah, No questions, no questions. Yeah, Look, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Let's let's go and this episode questions. ended up being a relationship know, episode. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, no, we're diving trying. deep, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's getting a little deep. So happened. we do got a female that's going to come. Next, next week? Yeah, next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a next couple. Week. We have a couple because my you cousin have, has some too. Yeah, I well, I, potentially. I, potentially. I mean, I've yeah. been working on it, but, you know, hopefully they come But through. we're going to have to you go quicker saying? through these ones. Hey, I don't know if Quincy is able to let us get like an extra five minutes or something. Yeah, yeah. See, look. There you go. Thank you, Quincy, for that. Good All right. Man, so the man. other two is that um, the uh, second one was as a woman, how do you know how to make a man happy? Mm. Okay. So the question this is how. How do you know how to make, make a man, man happy? happy? So, guys, yeah. this is the second question that you need to ask a woman before you even get serious with her, talk to her, buy her anything, take her anywhere, because you need to know where her head is at. Because if she's using you, she's not going to be ans- able to answer these questions effectively. So what's the question number two again? Yeah, well, the second question is, as a woman, how do you know how to make a man happy? By, ax- and- by axing him. Yeah. Every man is different. Beast may want a woman to, you know, just listen to him and watch the game and play video games with him or Peace. go out to nature. That's how he, that's how you that. can make that'd him happy. Cool. No, yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, my exactly. bad. I just assumed. No, no, no. Hey, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how cool. you know your bro. Right. So you're, but that's again, a great example with, you did well. With, spot hey, on. Yeah, but with spot me. You know, do something like that. That'd but awesome. but with me, <laughs> I'd rather, with, with me, I'd rather just, you know, have a conversation watching movies. Right, Let's go for a drive or something, or a drive. Right, we're not the same. Yeah, no. so you can't treat every man the same. Yeah. You talking about well, I know how to treat a man. man no, you knew how to treat me the same. We definitely not exactly. Definitely yeah. Not. So again, number two, guys, you ask her, do she know how to make a man happy? Yeah. Or what do you do to make a man happy? That's a great point because, yeah. like, a lot of times, a lot of uh, like. A lot of men want to say that we're like we're simple and all that. Yeah, we're simple at the beginning, but then mm-hmm. when we start getting deep into the relationship and like you know, like now we got past the dating phase and we're official. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be some things that I like that Legend don't like. There's gonna be something that Legend like that I don't like, or mm-hmm. Peace likes, and everything else. And like certain mm-hmm. type of specifics is gonna be the difference from just being in a relationship mm-hmm. to getting married or having a family. Right. And that's gonna be the difference of what. Does that man, like when that man gets that part, like that reciprocation, whenever mm-hmm. he tell, opens up to you and you start to reciprocate that, then he's going to feel like, man, the least I could do is just provide, like to be there for, like to do, hold up on my end to like potentially, if she don't want to have kids, then but just to ride through the sunset with her or if she wants to have kids, then like to provide that, to be that for her. Is because she's over here holding up on her head. She actually is listening to you. It's not just hearing you out, but listening to you, comprehending it, and uh, implementing it. Is that she's gonna from then on? Like you're gonna be like, man, 
how what's the odds of me finding another woman that's doing that gonna be able to do this to the degree that she's doing this? Fuck that. She's a keeper forever. And that's where that comes from. Mm. You want me to go to the third question now? Yeah. No, all right, all right. Question. Now the third question is as a woman, how do you make a man never want to leave you, which is a good yeah. Tangent so from the guys, city. this this is probably the most important question. You ask her, as a woman, how can you make a man never want to leave you? So this is basically a universal. Yeah, every woman should Objective. know. Every yeah. woman should know the answer to this question. This is you gonna find out if she's trying to use you. Do she know who, you know, a man? The mentality. The answer to this question is, it's very simple. Okay? Yeah. What's the answer, Legend? Head, <laughs> sex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, I got Head, that. sex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's the full? Oh, what's yeah. No, no, no. That's it. Like, yeah, because like the head and the sex is head good. And that's how sex. we know how much a woman loves. Yeah, stuff. because the willingness of providing that. exactly and women. What you need, we to don't understand. have to ask for it. Exactly, but she's just willing to do it. Willing to do that because again, because I, I need it. Because that's yes, how we know. That's how we feel loved. Yeah, sure. exactly. most guys <laughs> love facts, language. Bro. It is most facts. most guys love language is physical touch. Exactly. Okay. So, if our love language is physical touch, that's everything that has to do with touching us. Yeah, head is touching us. Yeah. Sex is touching us. Yeah. It's the truth. All that stuff is touching us. Uh, I, I mean, I I feel you, but I don't know if I agree with that all the way. You know, go ahead. I feel like love language is it's pretty universal across the board, no matter the gender. People have different things that attract them. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's the same. Like, I mean. Physical for male and female is important. Like, don't get me wrong, but mm-hmm. I think my love language is, is uh, intelligence. That's just me. So, like, like conversation, like learn, knowing how to put me on game with something. Teach me. Like, well, if you could I, teach me, something, I would say that's that, more making you happy type shit. Yeah, well, that can make me happy. Yet it can put give you a check in the box of like approval. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but for me. To really have me connect with you, <laughs> if you can hold an intellectual, like if you're intelligence, right? Intelligence is attractive to me. Like mm. that's attractive. There's you know a saying? there's a term like, for that. Uh, Sapiosexual. Uh, sapio sapiosexual. Yes. Sapiosexual. Thank yeah. you. I knew I was like. Yes, you're yeah. you're you're attracted to her mind, right? Than just obviously, what's gonna so obviously what's gonna synchronize it together will be the sex included with the yeah. intellect. But intellect, along with that, along with your spiritual connection, like your willingness to want to open yourself up to spirituality and the understanding of it, all of that wrapped into one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, you're giving a lot of women hope in your perspective because like most men don't think like that. Right, but yeah. like there but are men I'm that not, think I'm, like but that. I'm not with the I'm not with the that bullshit is, though. Yeah, I will oh, leave Stand so fast. Yeah. Listen Stand to me. Like, I want you to be accountable for all your red flags, just like I have to be. Yeah, and on top of that, I'm not saying I'm a walking red flag. I'm just being real. I'm not perfect though. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So hey, I'm willing to be so held to accountable, yourself, just like I'm you. A red flag. Accountability, I'm communication. I'm trying to get out that red flag. Bro. You know what I'm saying? I also wanted to talk about a DM that I received. Um, yesterday and again like ladies if you're look, looking at this listening to this um, as a man I pursue but I don't chase <laughs> okay so right. I, I will if I see right. something that catch my eye yeah I will walk up to you I will ask for your number Um, I will introduce myself and if it evolves naturally to something else great if it doesn't great but i'm not chasing you okay now it's i'm not gonna put her on blast even yeah, though yeah. I you don't should. need to put the name or the or the instagram or anything just like yeah. she'll know yeah if she'll she know if it, i'm gonna post it on instagram so you'll know oh shit you'll you know put who, it on your shit. who i'm <laughs> talking about but you know <laughs> uh basically she thought just because i was pursuing her that I wanted to be with her. First of all, I don't even know you like that yet. Mm. You know, before I can say I want to be with you, there's something about you that have to make me want to be with you. And she was like, well, 
you said I'm beautiful. Okay, you and how many more women? And also, how many more guys have told her that? As exactly. Well? Just because yeah. you're be- you, some of these women think that just because they look good, they should be put on a pedestal. Yeah. First of all, looks can get you to the door, but it can't get you in the house. Right. What and what that means is this. Just because you look good, I can find a girl that looks equal or even better than you. And all these women, I got to just say it. Mm. I, I got to say it. Mm. The thing about looks, you beautiful, you gorgeous, you whatever. You've been in five, six different relationships. How many guys from those five, six relationships got on his knee in front of your family and friends and said, will you marry me? Mm. None. Yeah, some girls think they... Some None. girls have been gay yeah. too, but then they fuck it up. Yeah. None. So my thing is, you know, looks is not... It's it's a good starting point. It's a starting point. Right. But I need to know how you are with conflict and resolution. How are you are when it comes to what type of wife materials that you have? Can you calm down a situation? If I tell you, hey, look... This is what makes me happy. Can you actually do it? Mm. Mm-hmm. Can you actually have, you know, can you take orders? I don't care about your feminist movement. Can you take orders? Because I need to know if I'm working that you can take care of the kids. Are you mother material? I don't want my daughter to grow up to be a 304. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. I don't want her to grow up to be like, I'm not going right. to put my seed in anything because just because she's attractive, because she's beautiful. Looks don't mean nothing. That's that pretty, yeah. pretty privilege. And if you got a guy that's in your yeah. DMs because you're pretty, they just want to smash. Oh, really They're good. not trying to marry you. They're not trying to engage with you. They're not trying to have a loyal relationship with you Bro. and if they are oh well, he trying to cuff me no he just trying to it's f you they be bragging it, about mm. that shit too they be like look at my phone i got all this bro look at all, yeah, this and all of them have oh. a a penis it's called post nut clarity oh yeah when like, we get <laughs> horny females you don't know this when we get horny we look for something that we can fuck in that moment, yeah. once we find it, if we, once we enough, come yeah. back to reality. Exactly. And that nine you understand? Like we come back to I'm a, reality. I'm, give this one. I'm giving you this soundbite on this one. Though. Come on, man. So for that female that was in my DMs saying, wow, you talk to a lot of girls. Okay, you know what basketball is? <laughs> Do you know what basketball is? Okay, well, if you're no. the best basketball player in the United States, you're going to have a lot of colleges, recruiting, yeah. recruiters, um, uh, star, scouts star. that's going to be yeah. wanting to hit you up because you're the best. They know other colleges want you, so they want you before they get you. They see that you're a high value. They see that everybody wants you. Same thing with a fucking man. Mm. If mm. I'm talking to 20, 30, fucking 40 mm-hmm. girls, it's because I'm in high demand. Because those guys that's not talking to... 30, 40, they talking to you, one, they're in your DMs right now. Why are you not replying back to them? Oh, left on red. Why why are you not replying left back to them? Red. They Damn. those good guys, and yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna say nah, nah, I'm nah. not He's saying, preaching right I'm now. I'm not bro. saying oh, that yeah. that those guys it, it's a lot that they need to learn. Yeah, no, no. Because awareness, yeah. When women are by themselves, they they have a different tone. Oh, yeah, him. What's wrong? Nobody want him. I don't want him either. They like girl, they like no. guys that other girls want. You know what, man? Man, this nigga cooking, bro. You know what? I you might, gotta know yourself. I, I, I might, bro. I might just hold on. I might man. just tag her. Man, hold what's, on, what's man. Uh oh. Hold on. 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 I was gonna uh, so, turn on the siren. So uh, man, what? Where? Where that shit at? I'ma I, just I say. I'm a, uh, so this is this, this is uh, also another girl. I'm gonna put oh, you on blast. I'm gonna put you on blast. Shit, I got to, oh, and I invite oh. you to come to the um, podcast. Her name is it's Brookie Brook. So I T S B R O O K E Y B R O O K E. So basically, um, I was pursuing her or whatever, like I told y'all, and um, I said, look, um. I like your style, your vibe. Want to get to know you. If that's cool with you, if not, that's cool too. Mm. She says, she says, I'm good. I seen your stories. Thanks for the compliment, though. I said, no problem. I meant it. 
And like I said, it's cool. Stay blessed, right? Mm. So the thing is, she, my story at that time, stay I was posting. Yeah, stay blessed. Yeah, yeah. I was I like, posting. I'm like, using that stay blessed shit. Stay blessed. Right. So I was posting I a no lot of like females. That, like, ain't more, but I've been using that. Like, <laughs> just stay blessed. stay blessed. So stay blessed. basically, just so y'all can understand, and I do invite you to come to the podcast. Ooh, but the thing is, one. is that she probably felt some type of way because I had a lot of girls that I was yeah, that's talking about on my stories. Story, yeah. I'm in high demand. Like that basketball player, the best in the nation, the best in the United States. He got a lot of recruiters, a lot of scouts. They want that. That Zion if, shit. That Zion. So at the end of the day, if you want a guy that's lonely, because no guy... And I'm going to just keep it a bean. Even if that guy is grinding by himself and not focus on women, he still got women that's mm -hmm. trying to focus on him. Fast. And when you talk about sex, you talk. when you're talking about talking, you're thinking sexual. Oh, he must be sleeping with all these women. And that's not even the case. Mm. Every guy don't sleep with a lot of women. The guy that's in your DMs that only talking to you, if he had a chance to be in my shoes, he would love it, but he would mess it up because he, oh, wow, all these girls, oh, my God. No, at the end of the day, you have to realize, sweetheart, I'm going to talk to you straight and direct. The man that you want doesn't exist. Facts. He can pretend to be that man. You get with him. You're going to see me. Or you can get the real and you can realize, stop faking it, stop shaking it, and stop being unrealistic. Oof. You just gotta be because you're not going to get a ring <laughs> with that mindset. Damn. You will always be a toy. You will always be a toy. So I hope that you take Legend notes. Took over this one. I right? hope that you take <laughs> notes. We didn't even get to the third one. Huh. We did. We did. No, no, we did. I, we hold did. on, hold we on. Did. I see. I, I see a. Quickly. I see a picture of her. She. She looks cute. She's good. Oh, oh yeah. You, you, you pulled up. Bro, yeah, I was yeah. thinking about doing it. I wanted like, like, to see what she looked like. You pulled up her shit. I wanted to see what she looked like. I can only see her profile picture because oh. her shit. Her shit's private, but you know. So would you say that she looks cute in that picture though? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you I mean, I had, so? to, I had to check it out. Yeah, you know I tag her in it and just. Too. Yeah, you know, she's she straight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. God bless her. Stay blessed. Hey, listen, oh, man. listen, blessed. man. We got five minutes left, man. Um, yeah, legend. This was a this is your you you uh, venting to the world episode, yeah. putting yeah. people on game, dropping gems. He dropped so. <sighs> yeah. from the further from the relationship lens. You know, you what didn't saying? go for um, rage. This episode, like no, it was you know, controlled. Like no, this is, yeah, but this like, is great because this is people like this too. People yeah. want to sit back and like really absorb what you're saying, not like mm -hmm. from an angry you. Yeah, yeah. like they want to listen to the gems. They want to because diamonds are precious, right? Right, right. Like you want to like look at it and like okay, like check it out. Mm -hmm. They don't want like you know just the whole soil brought up from the ground and just throwing yeah, it in their face exactly. all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm I, but there is, <laughs> I would before we end it, I do want to say. Um, I do got some stuff to say. Not right, not right now, but next, probably next episode about my job, about the stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, You're fitness connection. I used to work there, and uh, oh, Sheesh. I got so much to say. Yeah, and, I, gotta I, definitely I, do and that I'm gonna tag week. each one of y'all, motherfuckers. Oh, oh so God. so at the at the former like job, that. I'm assuming at my former job. Yeah, like I'm, okay. I'm, I'm on the big things, better things. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I've been hearing a lot of things, a lot of. Since I'm not there, I guess y'all thinking in the grass, I could be a right? punching bag now. I guess y'all think since I'm not working there no more, I could be a punching bag. Uh, no, ma'am, no, sir. Okay. Um, yeah, man. I, I still, you know, maybe not next episode. Maybe not. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe at some not. point, at some point, I do want to brush up on some deep topics. Like, oh, yeah, don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, outside of relationships, because there was some, I have a lot of bullet points here that I wanted to go over. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But. This you know, was good. Uh, yeah, this was good too. I'm gonna be watching this. This is this is one fast. Oh, oh god, yeah. We're, oh, I'm gonna be rewatching. Wisdom this. Talk podcast has many different arms and legs to it, right? Yeah, and this exactly. was one of them that we focused on this episode for sure. But yeah, um, you know the notes I have are they can carry over. 
to whatever. Yeah, but, no, exactly. And likewise, it's, yeah. it's like because we timeless. still we did, we still didn't talk about timeless. Cat Williams receipts and yeah, exactly. You know, uh, and we didn't really hit up sports yeah. or nothing like and that. The other the shit. Let's go. 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 let us and oh, yeah, I absolutely. hope the Chiefs beat the Bills no. as a Chiefs fan. No. Sorry. No comment. Yeah, no. yeah. of course, I'm the only Chiefs fan. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Chiefs. I want Chiefs, Texas, AFC Championship. Right. I'm going for the Chiefs, but if the Texans win, I would not feel bad. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, right. right. So, so I'm also a Cowboys fan, but oh, yeah. Cowgirls go with the Texans. Uh -oh. Some niggas. I, the be Packers? Tired. Oh, shit. No, we Jordan Love? Oh, we can't speak man. about, you know, I can't defend them. They, Look, I, I can't even hate on it. I can't even, like, blame Dak. I blame the team, like, itself. I can't because Dak had to. I blame Jerry him. Jones. Yeah, I blame I'm going to take Jones it there. Too. I blame Jerry Jones. I blame Jerry Jones too. Jerry Jones, he, he has not humbled himself. At, yeah. He hasn't humbled himself enough to understand and realize that, yo, I need to fire myself. He fucked and over I Jimmy Johnson fire back in the 90s. He <laughs> right. fucked over Jimmy Johnson. He did. He did. Uh, he did. He did. He did. I need to fire myself. Shit. I need to fire myself, meaning I need to step Let down. Let his son take over. Not well, not just have Maybe. a sun takeover, but know, so. just just relieve yourself of some power and yeah. responsibility and spread that out a little bit mm -hmm. to people that probably know more about things than you do yeah. mm. in certain avenues. So that would probably help the the building of your team. Legend and my mom need to hear this. And I'm, I'm just Cowboys saying, fans. Jerry Jones, he has too much of a. You keep saying the wrong cowgirls fan. Oh yeah, yeah, cowgirls. He, he, he <laughs> Jerry Jones just has too much of a stronghold on the team. But anyway, yeah. All right, once again, here comes another episode. Yeah, you know, uh, hey, we got a couple, know. couple minutes left. Yeah. Uh, hey. You know you, you know what it is. I was just going to do the close oh, out right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Know, plug once yourself. Again, plug yourself. It's your boy, H2O, a.k.a. Okay, the Cameroon Goon, a.k.a. Ordinance Who, a.k.a. Troy's D, all of the above. You know where to find me at. I'm on all the platforms. I talked some shit about TikTok recently. Fuck See, TikTok. and we didn't even get into that because I, I wanted to address that I too. Know. Oh man, we don't. And then hey, we didn't get into. Yeah, I wanted to know about that. About yeah, King Von. Crazy. That's what I talked saying. to that nigga dead, but that nigga like that's gonna be some shit that we're gonna get into. Like yeah, I was like, bro. fuck that nigga too. And, and all that <laughs> other shit. Yeah, yeah, no, fuck that nigga. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Man. That's gonna be a whole that's other people. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, but if you know what he was doing before he died, then you gonna then you'll be like, oh yeah, that's why I fucked that nigga because he's better dead than alive. But then, right. and that Ariana Grande with all the shit that she's See? done. What? Uh, what happened with that? Like, sure. like she, hey, stole nigga, she stole a high school sweetheart, and they had a baby. She held the baby and shit. Craziness. And That's what I'm like, saying. What? What? All right, look. Evil shit, but yeah. Hey, okay. we got y'all in the coming the next, episodes yeah, coming up. We, we got to show all this episode. shit. Upcoming yeah. episode. Yo, yeah. okay, D. Juniani on Instagram, Juniani on Twitter, Juniani uh uh, recognize Entertainment Facebook page, personal page. Don't hit me up if I don't know you. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's F you. <laughs> it's a F you. Nah. Uh, but yeah, all that good stuff. Merch, hit me up. DM me if you want it. You know, I'll give you prices. DM me. DM me. Definitely. DM me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cop it. Shirts coming. Cop. More shirts coming. Different definitely, styles, whatever. Definitely. But that's it, really. Yeah, uh, we, we're going to start having some celebrities come through. So we got uh, yeah, that. Definitely, work, definitely. So oh, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're 100. not going to spoil y'all who it is, yeah. but like, yeah, we got some shit coming. 100. Mm -hmm. Definitely. 100. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's your boy Beast Too Saucy. Hey, man. Shout out to the Saints. Man, shout out to Guitar and everything. Peace to right the here. Saints. Peace yeah, to yeah, the Saints. Yeah. <laughs> this guy and everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, man. Shout out to the Texans, man. We're going to win this, man. Yes, yeah, sir. If they don't win. I don't know who's going to win. Yeah, they just joined the <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If they don't win, I really want Lamar Jackson to take it. I want Lamar Man, Jackson to get a ring. If they don't, I, I want to see the Lions win. I want to see the Lions. The Lions. The Lions. No. I, well, I, I hope the I Packers fantasy, win. I want $900 in fantasy football this year, and nice. Jared Goff was my quarterback. Nice. So, wait, oh. wait. So it's I, not the Chiefs. Hey, no. hey, I hope the Packers really just destroy the 49ers <laughs> so we don't look that bad. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that because that was a going to Super very Bowl, bad right? loss for them. 49ers probably going to Super Bowl. No, I hope right. the Packers win a Super Bowl and then we show we yeah, say yeah, we yeah, lost yeah. to a well, Super Bowl Well, we lost to the Super Bowl, yeah. yeah. You want to you wanna plug no. any of your stuff? Yeah, so y'all follow me, Legend RKM. Uh, my fitness page, Instagram, uh, RKML Fitness. Um, TikTok, Legend RKM. So... Yeah, check it out. Oh, and last, lastly, last thing, y'all subscribe, like, 
the Wisdom Talk the Facebook, Wisdom Talk, uh, Facebook. Yes. Wisdom yes. Talk YouTube yes. channel, YouTube yes. channel, yes. YouTube yes. channel. Y'all subscribe Spotify. like that. Subscribe, ish. subscribe, like share. TikTok, make sure you Spotify, sh- if Facebook, this made you YouTube. feel anything, if you learn anything, make sure you share it. Yes, Wisdom uh, Talk, everybody man. you know, Absolutely. family, friends, everybody's yes. been saying it, bro. Yep. Like, man, that Wisdom Talk, man, that mm-hmm. was, yes, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> and we we coming with y'all with all different types of uh, topics moving forward. I'm telling you, you, y'all heard it. We got so much to address. It's right. gonna be controversial. Yeah. Because it's us Fitness connection you know what I'm saying? Get ready <laughs> Oh shit Get ready. Oh, We're out Here we Peace go. Peace <laughs>